Chapter 901 Refining True Dragon Essence Blood Translator Born to be once he returned to Menki's location, Long Chen found an isolated place to take out the dragon scale. His heart was pounding quickly. He was finally at the level of being able to refine this true dragon essence blood. He was now in the sea expansion realm, and his four stars had all reached the great circle of perfection. As his physical body had reached an unprecedented level, it was time. Long Chen gulped as he took out the dragon scale. This was the treasure the dragon expert had left for him, what he had to rely on to train in the dragon blood body tempering art. Last time he had tried to refine this, he had still been in the Zhuanshan Dao sect back then he had failed miserably and almost died. But this time, Long Chen was confident in being able to refine it with his new power. Do you have any last words? Just as Long Chen was about to extract the blood in the scale, the eastern wasteland bell's voice rang out. Senior, what do you mean? Long Chen was startled. What I mean is, once you draw that true dragon essence blood into your body and try to refine it, you'll definitely die. So do you have any last words? Once you die, I'll tell your friends. It can count as resolving the karma between us, said the eastern wasteland bell indifferently. Long Chen jumped. What are you talking about? That mysterious expert said that as long as my physical body was able to endure a thousand caddies of force, I would be able to refine this blood. This matter was too important, and the dragon expert had told Long Chen not to tell anyone about it. So he simply said it was a mysterious expert. Mysterious expert? Whoever that was, they overestimated you, or perhaps they underestimated the change in the world. My guess is that the mysterious expert of yours said that in accordance with the standard of a rank 9 celestial. However, even a rank 9 celestial blessed with heavenly Dao energy would most likely die upon refining this drop of blood. That essence blood you're holding isn't ordinary true dragon essence blood. It comes from an emperor bloodline amongst the dragon race. Although it's just from a green dragon, it cannot be directly absorbed because of its incomparable purity. Furthermore, if you then attempt to refine it without the assistance of the heavenly deos, you'll have to rely on yourself for everything. Furthermore, you don't know any techniques. If you just directly devour it like this, once you try drawing out its energy, your body will immediately explode. No way. Long Chen began to sweat. With the Eastern Wasteland Bell's experience, it definitely wouldn't just be messing around. Since this was what it was saying, it seemed that if he really tried to refine the blood, he would die. Then what am I supposed to do? Ah, fine. I've gained quite a bit from you, so helping you with something minor shouldn't invoke karma. I will teach you a sealing technique. Your physical body is powerful, so drawing the dragon blood into your body isn't a problem. But if you try to refine it, the dragon blood will instinctively struggle. That's not something you can endure. So you have to seal the dragon blood in your body, and then slowly refine its energy over time. That's the best method. Long Chen followed the Eastern Wasteland Bell's instructions, setting up a strange formation in his body with his spiritual Yuan. The formation rested on top of his Danshan. It was like a spider web. And once it was finished, Long Chen pressed his finger against the dragon scale. A drop of blood surged into Long Chen's arm. He immediately felt a burst of pain, as well as a powerful attack from the blood. He hastily focused. This attack was what had almost killed him last time. But now that he was ready for it, it didn't threaten his life again. As the drop of blood passed through his arm, Long Chen felt his own blood heating up. Some of his blood began to incinerate, and the intense pain made him clench his teeth. This drop of dragon blood was like lava that had entered his body. He felt like all his blood was about to vaporize. He finally understood why the Eastern Wasteland Bell had said he was going to die. All he had done was draw it into his body, but it had caused such a reaction. If he were to attempt to refine it, he really would be done for. However, Long Chen was extremely curious. That dragon expert wouldn't harm him. Why hadn't it told him any of this? If it weren't for the Eastern Wasteland Bell, wouldn't he have just stupidly died? The drop of blood finally entered the seal above his danshan. Once it was sealed, it didn't react. It just quietly lay there. But when Long Chen tried to refine it, it suddenly released a blinding light, and a powerful force erupted out of it. Long Chen felt like his body was about to shatter. He coughed up a mouthful of blood, filled with shock. He hastily used the formation to once more suppress it. But now that he had tried to refine it, the dragon blood continued to struggle as if it were alive. Having sensed the threat of death, it tried to struggle free of its restrictions. Now Long Chen was truly grateful toward the Eastern Wasteland Bell. He activated the formation, 
pouring in the energy of his four key seas and forcibly suppressing the dragon blood's counterattack. In truth, as soon as the dragon blood had released its power, the primal chaos beat had begun to slowly circulate, but when the formation suppressed the dragon blood, it once more returned to its calm state. It was just that none of that had been noticed by Long Chen, as he had been focused on the dragon blood. Don't be in a rush to refine it. Make sure it's completely sealed first, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Through six hours of work, even with his four key seas, Long Chen was covered in sweat. He was exhausted, but he had finally fully sealed the dragon blood. The dragon blood was sealed, but Long Chen had no energy to try refining it again. He had to recover first. Only after recovering did he try it again. This time, it went smoothly. It was unknown whether the dragon blood had accepted its fate and given up on fighting back, or whether the formation had wiped away its ability to resist. Traces of green blood were coming out of it now, spreading throughout his body. Long Chen hastily began circulating the dragon blood body tempering art. The dragon blood body tempering art was an extremely particular cultivation technique. As he circulated it, the blood energy merged with his own blood. However, they were like water and oil. Although they were together, they refused to fully merge. Long Chen ignored that and continued to circulate the technique, as well as absorbing more energy. He was shocked to find that he had still underestimated this drop of dragon blood. The amount of energy inside it could only be described as an ocean's worth. It wasn't something he could completely refine in a short time. He spent six hours, but he didn't notice any significant decrease in its energy. On the other hand, he was starting to become unable to continue. The energy from the dragon blood made him feel like his blood vessels would explode. At this time, Long Chen finally realized that the dragon blood body tempering art was trying to replace his blood. The dragon blood was too domineering, and it was constantly incinerating his original blood. Long Chen didn't dare to refine it too fast for fear his blood would run dry. He had to take things slowly. The dragon blood's energy was flowing throughout every inch of his body along with his own blood. As the practically imperceptible strands of energy spread, they merged into every single cell. Long Chen felt like his body was in a furnace, and the intense pain could only be called torture. The crux of the dragon blood body tempering art was to use a dragon's essence blood to replace a human's essence blood. However, that process required the body to first get accustomed to the dragon blood's energy. His own blood was still much weaker than dragon blood. So despite feeling like his physical body had reached a peak, he immediately felt the impact of the dragon blood's energy. His physical body was still too weak, but the dragon blood body tempering art was slowly improving his body bit by bit, allowing his body to get accustomed to it. This was a gradual process. Right now, he had just absorbed a trace of the dragon blood's energy to nourish his body, but that was already taxing. If he had tried to refine it all at once, then it would have been like what the Eastern Wasteland Bell had said. He would have died. This first nourishing process took three days, and only then did Long Chen's body get accustomed to it. He was pleasantly surprised to find that his body had clearly grown stronger and tougher. He was full of anticipation for the rest of the dragon blood body tempering art. After these three days, Long Chen told Men Qi, who had been standing guard for him while he had been in seclusion, that there was no longer any need for that. Now, there was no longer any danger. Even if someone came to disturb him, he would only have to temporarily pause the refinement. He wouldn't be in any danger. Men Qi called back the Blood Phoenix, with it and the Earth Dragon protecting them. They didn't need to have any worries. She also went into seclusion with Long Chen. Men Qi focused on expanding her Qi Si while Long Chen focused on refining the energy in the dragon blood. At this time, practically all the disciples in the immemorial path were in seclusion. They were expanding their key seas to their limits before their realm stabilized. This moment was too important, and no one dared to be the slightest bit negligent. The current immemorial path was like a deep pool of water. It was frighteningly calm. The aboriginals were also silent. They sent all their women and children to safer places. Each time the spiritual key eruption ended, the invaders would launch attacks against them to snatch their resources. But this time, the aboriginals were surprised to find that after Long Chen's tribulation, a change had occurred in heaven and earth. The curse they were under was slowly weakening. Although the curse was weakening extremely slowly, it was definitely weakening. Furthermore, the power of the formations on their ancestral lands was growing stronger, allowing them to increase their radius. In the future, they would have a wider range to move around in. Although the seniors refused to say anything about this matter, 
Some of the younger disciples had guessed that it had to do with how Long Chen had torn apart the dome of the sky. His name was now something practically every single one of them knew. Time passed day by day. A full three months passed before the slumbering immemorial path began to awaken. Powerful auras began to rise one by one. Chapter 902 A Storm Approaches Translator Born to be Boom A large mountain crumbled and soaring key waves surged into the sky. A long-haired man stood in the sky. Four colored runes around him. Long Chen, the time for your death has come at last. My spirit blood has awakened, allowing me to comprehend the remote heaven canon. Just what will you use to fight me? A shout shook the sky. This person was the remote heaven gang's number one expert, Ji Chang Kong. His spirit blood had awakened, and he had become a rank four celestial. Lord Chang Kong, a dozen righteous experts reverently bowed toward him. I've just reached the first heaven stage of sea expansion. I'll need a few days to completely stabilize my cultivation base and get accustomed to my new power. You are to spread out, gathering all the righteous experts. Spread the news that I've come out of seclusion as loudly as possible. This time, I want to teach Su Yu, Yu Chang Heo, Wang Junmo, and the likes just who is the number one person of the righteous path. Order Ji Chang Kong. Yes. However, we've heard that the Wind Chant Pavilion's top disciple, Feng Jian, as well as the seven stargates Heng Ming Kong, have advanced to become rank four celestials. The two of them probably won't be so obedient, said one disciple. HMPH. Two nameless little sects. Did they think that just by hiding two talented disciples from others, they could rise? Laughable. What sect isn't formed through countless years and generations of accumulated efforts? If they don't know how to appreciate kindness, just have them die here, sneered Ji Chang Kong. Although he was a bit surprised that two such figures appeared out of nowhere, he didn't place them in his eyes. Small sects like theirs didn't possess a strong enough foundation. Even if they gave birth to talented disciples, their power would be limited. That had to do with the sect's foundation. There's also Long Chen, probed one person. HMPH, I will personally cut off his head. But before I do so, I'll make him lose all his reputation. I'll make him an absolute villain targeted by everyone. Then even if I kill him, the Zhuangshan Dao sect won't be able to make a fart. Hatred flashed in Ji Chang Kong's eyes. The icy smile on his face made them shiver. Greetings, Lord Zhu Yu. Hundreds of corrupt experts were bowing toward a slim man. This was was the corrupt King Zhu Yu. There weren't any fluctuations coming off of Zhu Yu's body, but an indescribable feeling radiated from him. One that made people feel even more terrified. His devil eye was open. Countless runes revolved within it looking like a starry sky. It was like it contained a universe, a universe that was filled with terrifying power. What is happening outside? Asked Zhu Yu, standing with his hands clasped behind his back. We've investigated. Seven rank four celestials have appeared in the corrupt path, reported one disciple. Seven? That's not bad. Looks like there are quite a few scheming people who hid themselves deeply. What are their plans? Do they wish to follow me? Zhu Yu found this a bit unexpected. He had been focused on cultivating during this time, so he hadn't learned of what had happened in the outside yet. He had given the task of information gathering to others. Your subordinates were too slow. Three of the seven want to follow you, but the other, they've been snatched away by Kawutu, said one disciple carefully. Kawutu? The one who provoked Len Yu and was then tormented for a month? He still has the face to continue living. Zhu Yu frowned. Yes, the devil empress once viewed him as a target to kill. But he was too weak, and each time, he was defeated and then tormented. When talking about Len Yuian, all of them felt a cold breeze on their backs. That idiot. It was clearly Lord Zhu Yu who saved him, but now he dares to challenge you. He really is courting death, raged a corrupt expert. Saying that Zhu Yu had saved him was a bit exaggerated. The truth was that Len Yuian had felt Ka Wutu to be too weak and had simply lost interest in him. So she had changed her target to Zhu Yu. In truth, at that time, Len Yuian's fame hadn't been very illustrious in the corrupt path. It was because she had later set her sights on Zhu Yu that her fame had increased. They had fought three great battles without a clear victor. Of course, those three battles had ended with Zhu Yu miserably fleeing. The last time, he had almost been killed by her. He never mentioned the results of those battles and Len Yuian also disdained to mention the topic. So the outside world thought that they were evenly matched. In the corrupt expert's eyes. Only Zhu Yu could fight against Len Yuian. They didn't know that if Zhu Yu saw Len Yuian, he would immediately turn tail and flee. That idiot does have some ability. However, 
He cultivates the corpse devil path and has cultivated his own body into a withered corpse. It's too disgusting. Now that he has advanced to become a rank 4 celestial, my guess is his bloodline's blood corpse energy has awakened, making his physical body even stronger. That's why he dares to challenge me. Ignore him. When the time comes, I'll put them all in their place. If they don't appreciate my kindness, I'll directly kill them. My devil eye has completely awoken. So starting today, the corrupt path is mine to lead. Those who oppose me will die. HMPH. I'll conveniently handle Len Yuian as well, letting her know that I am the true king of the corrupt path, said Zhu Yu confidently. That's right, Lord Zhu Yu. In a certain place, we noticed the Nine Yun corrupt bone transportation formation. It should have been left by the devil empress, said a disciple. She left. Zhu Yu was startled. He couldn't understand why Len Yuian had left at this time. But then he nodded. That's fine. I'll end her once I get out. Although he acted dissatisfied, he was actually relieved. Len Yuian's departure lightened the pressure on him a lot. What about on the side of the ancient races? Asked Zhu Yu. The ancient races are a bit disorderly right now. Quite a few vicious fellows have appeared. They were previously a bit irritated with Yu Changheo. Nine of them have just advanced to the fourth rank, and they've begun amassing troops, forming their own powers to declare dominance. That's normal. Those half-human half-beast people have powerful bloodline powers. Once they reach the fourth rank, their bloodline power completely awakens, granting them immense power. As for Yu Changheo, he overestimated himself, thinking that he is unrevealed in close-range and long-range combat. That's why he often looked down and scoffed at people seeking asylum with him. Now that others have become rank 4 celestials, he's isolated. However, the ancient races are united. Even if they don't get along, they won't start an all-out war with each other. At most, they'll just work independently. That might be a good thing for us. What about the righteous path? Asked Zhu Yu on the side of the righteous path. There's nothing to worry about. After asking around, we found that other than Ji Chang Kong, they only have two rank 4 celestials from smaller sects. They're the isolated, poor kind of sects. Their combat power is probably only slightly greater than innate rank 3 celestials, sneered a corrupt expert. A person's strength could not be determined merely by cultivation base and talent. Their cultivation techniques, their magical arts, their weapons, and all the resources that had gone into them were also extremely important. Just good talent alone was useless. It could be said that geniuses were built up mostly by resources. To put it even more bluntly, they needed money. So whether it was Ji Chang Kong or Zhu Yu, they didn't care about those two righteous experts. Such people weren't a threat. What about Long Chen? Is there any news? Zhu Yu's eyes narrowed. When he mentioned this name, killing intent surged within his eyes. He hated Long Chen to the bone. Long Chen was the only one in this world to have ever cut off his head. That was an indescribable humiliation. This entire time, we were unable to even find Long Chen's shadow. He should still be in seclusion. However, we did hear that Ji Chang Kong is searching everywhere for Long Chen. Furthermore, he is offering a bounty for anyone in Long Chen's group. A bounty. Zhu Yu was startled. Yes. Ji Chang Kong seems to want to rule the Eastern Wasteland's righteous path, using his power to intimidate all the righteous experts. Zhu Yu nodded. I've heard of Ji Chang Kong. The remote Heaven Gang's G family not only has a secret canon inheritance, but it seems that a supreme expert once appeared amongst their ancestors. Perhaps he has some ability. Ji Chang Kong is in the midst of gathering all the righteous experts. He sent out an arrest warrant for Long Chen with a reward on it. Anyone who finds any of the people in Long Chen's group will be richly rewarded. The funniest thing was, there are two experts from the same sect as Long Chen, Xiao Wuji and Yu Kai Anshan who have become Ji Chang Kong's underlings. They're saying that Long Chen has colluded with the aboriginals to kill his fellow righteous experts. His group has become all the righteous path's targets, sneered a corrupt expert disdainfully. The righteous path was truly interesting. The others were also sneering in disdain. The righteous path was most skilled in this kind of game. Ji Chang Kong's confidence must have inflated to the point that he wanted to use the status of the Eastern Wasteland's righteous path's number one expert to challenge the corrupt path. However, in order to become the Eastern Wasteland's Righteous Path's number one expert, he had to first eliminate Long Chen. Long Chen truly did have relationships with the Aboriginals. The crime of forging secret ties with Aboriginals was a grave one, and there was proof. However, for the ones who accused Long Chen of working with Aboriginals to be the ones from his own sect was too laughable. Although Zhu Yu hated Long Chen, 
he had no choice but to admit that Long Chen had his own pride and ability. Did he really need to collude with the aboriginals to kill a few people from the righteous path? Just how small did a person's brain have to be to believe such a thing? They were clearly framing him, but there were so many people who believed it without question. Those people clearly knew the truth but were just acting. They felt that Ji Chang Kong was stronger than Long Chen. Long Chen hadn't appeared, and the people from his own sect had betrayed him. They simply acted according to the situation. What should we do now? There's no need to do anything. Just calmly watch what happens. With Ji Chang Kong present, we don't even need to do anything. He'll force Long Chen to come out. When it comes to scheming, we are lacking compared to the righteous path. We should just wait until both sides are exhausted to kill them all. This time, we'll win a perfect victory. Not letting a single one of those righteous experts to leave alive said Zhu Yu. Ever since the righteous path had gained Long Chen, the corrupt path had run into setback after setback, irritating the higher-ups. Long Chen had been number one on their must-kill list for a long time now, but he was still alive and healthy. That was a humiliation to the entire corrupt path. During this time, whoever could kill Long Chen would become the corrupt path's hero. They would gain unprecedented glory. Reporting to Lord Zhu Yu, a disciple from the righteous path wants to see you. Suddenly, a corrupt disciple walked in with a strange expression. Chapter 903 Trouble Translator Born to be the person who had come was wearing black robes. He was wearing a helmet to cover his face, and the only thing revealed was his eyes. He clearly didn't want to reveal his identity. Ji Chang Kong sent you, asked Zhu Yu. Here is the letter. That person had only just opened his mouth when a corrupt expert smashed his fist into his chest. The sound of bones breaking rang out, and that person let out a pained grunt. I'll give you another chance. If you don't answer to the point, you'll immediately become a corpse. Lord Zhu Yu is busy and doesn't have time to waste on you righteous idiots, raged the corrupt expert. Zhu Yu didn't even look at the letter. He icily asked. Ji Chang Kong sent you. That person nodded. But he had only just nodded when he was kicked in the leg. He fell to the ground. Are you mute? A corrupt expert now had a saber in his hand. As long as Zhu Yu nodded, he would kill this person. Yes. The righteous expert hastily opened his mouth. A corrupt expert received the letter and handed it to Zhu Yu. Zhu Yu opened it and an icy smile appeared on his face. Go back and report to Ji Chang Kong that I can cooperate with him, but he has to give me a third of the righteous path's heads. If he doesn't agree, then we can see just how much power he has. You can fuck off now. That person was delighted, and hastily hobbled away. Having escaped with his life, he didn't have any more extravagant desires. Lord Corrupt King, what did Ji Chang Kong say? Asked a rank 3 celestial. He was one of Zhu Yu's trusted aides, so he dared to directly ask him this question. Ji Chang Kong wants to cooperate with us. It goes without saying that the righteous path really is devious. Originally, I wasn't planning on cooperating with them, but this plan of theirs has moved me. I can't decline. Zhu Yu couldn't help but sigh. Are we really going to cooperate with them? Asked one of them with astonishment. That was something absolutely not permitted. The cooperation is just temporary. I need to cooperate with them to get the greatest profit. As for my request for a third of their heads, that was just to make them overlook my real goal. Not one of them will be able to leave the immemorial path alive. Did you all activate the photographic jades? Yes, we recorded it all. They will definitely be able to prove that Ji Chang Kong took the initiative to find you. Good. It won't be long before they reply. In fact, Ji Chang Kong might personally come to discuss the details. Remember to secretly record it all. For us, this cooperation is just a plan of convenience. Even if the higher-ups learn of it, it will just be some light punishment. But it's different for the righteous path. By working with us to handle Long Chen and the others, they have betrayed the righteous path. That's a grave criminal act for them. With the constant struggle between righteous sects, these photographic jades can be used to threaten Ji Chang Kong and make him bend to our will. If we can kill them all when our cooperation comes to an end, then it can be a gift we send to humiliate the righteous path. But if something unexpected happens and Ji Chang Kong manages to get away, then we can release them publicly. At that time, he, Ji Chang Kong will be attacked by the entire righteous path. I hear Ji Chang Kong's Ji family is quite strong. They'll definitely attempt to protect him. At that time, a huge war might erupt in the righteous path. We can take advantage of that opportunity to kill them all. Lord Zhu Yu is brilliant. This way, no matter what happens, it'll be to our benefit. The corrupt experts exclaimed in admiration for his intelligence. He, 
This skill is something I learned from Ji Chang Kong. Right now he's smearing Long Chen's name. And he inspired me. Laughed Zhu Yu. Gather all our experts. Send out my words. Those who want to go against me. Zhu Yu. Had better consider the consequences. Don't blame me for being merciless when the time comes. Yes. The corrupt experts immediately left. Zhu Yu looked into the distance. A faint smile on his face. You came up with a nice plan Ji Chang Kong. But you've underestimated my appetite. While Zhu Yu was busy gathering his army, the entire immemorial path became extremely lively. Perhaps it was agitation from feeling one's power explosively grow. Or perhaps it was that a human's desire could not be satisfied. But people were fighting everywhere. Rumbling filled the air and key waves surged. Battlefields appeared all over the immemorial path. Whether it was the righteous path, the corrupt path, or the ancient races, countless disputes arose. That was especially true of the righteous path. Some sects already had conflicts. So now that their disciples had advanced to see expansion and felt their power grow immensely, they all thought of getting revenge for those past grievances. However, this chaotic scene only continued for a while before becoming calm. The various experts had all received invitations. These so-called invitations were a mix of the carrot and the stick. The ancient races had fewer numbers, but their quality was high. As a result, they split into several factions, each extremely powerful and prepared. Even if they didn't want to snatch the number one position from Yu Changheo, they wanted to prove they had the qualifications to stand on the same level as him. The corrupt path was split into two factions, one led by Zhu Yu, the well-known veteran, and another led by an upcoming newcomer, Ka Wu Tu. The two of them seemed to be at great odds, and Ka Wu Tu didn't seem to fear the famous Zhu Yu. The righteous path had essentially been unified. The righteous experts pretty much all accepted Ji Chang Kong as their leader. Other than Ji Chang Kong, there were two other rank 4 celestials. One was Zhen Ming Kong from the Seven Star Gate, while the other was the Wind Chant Pavilion's genius, Feng Jian. But the remote Heaven Gang's power was enormous, giving Ji Chang Kong great influence. Even two of the four heavenly geniuses of the Zhuanshan Dao sect had surprisingly allied themselves with Ji Chang Kong. To put it nicely, they were allied. But to put it frankly, they were just licking his feet. Having entered the immemorial path, their luck hadn't been very good. They hadn't obtained any heaven-defying treasures and were still simply ranked two celestials. As for the rank one celestials that had survived, many of them had obtained opportunities, allowing them to advance to rank two celestials. So the positions of Yu Kianchen and Xiao Wuji immediately fell. It was unknown what benefits Ji Chang Kong had given them for them to side with him. However, it wasn't that strange. The corrupt path was so strong. The ancient races were watching like tigers, and there was also the threat of the aboriginals. Thus, working together was a good decision. As for the seven star gates Zhen Ming Kong, as soon as Ji Chang Kong's subordinates had found him, he had immediately agreed to join him. But what Ji Chang Kong hadn't expected was that Wind Chant Pavilion's Feng Jian had immediately refused. He had even openly expressed that in this world, the only person worthy of him following was Long Chen. That infuriated Ji Chang Kong. But the situation was too unstable right now, so he didn't dare to make any big moves. He could only endure for now, but he had already placed Feng Jian on his must-kill list. The thing that the righteous disciples were somewhat unable to accept was that Soaring Long Chen had actually become a traitor of the righteous path. Disciples from the same sect as him were personally accusing him of colluding with the aboriginals to harm his fellow righteous disciples. Unable to bear staying on the same side as such a person, they had formed an alliance with Ji Chang Kong to find and punish Long Chen, to get justice for all the righteous disciples who had fallen because of him. Many people had refused to believe it at the beginning. But when many resolute people shouted something loud enough, it was enough to obscure the truth. Many people started to form doubts. Then, Long Chen refused to reveal himself, and no explanation came from him. That made Ji Chang Kong's influence even greater, allowing him to unite essentially all the righteous disciples, making him the number one expert of the righteous path. People were like ducks. True or false weren't so important. In the end, those who joined Ji Chang Kong's side gave up their doubts and began to echo their peers, starting a snowball effect. From their point of view, standing by Ji Chang Kong's side could protect them. As long as he provided safety, he could say whatever he wanted. The truth wasn't important. The important thing was that as long as they were obedient, they could join this enormous army. As for whether or not Long Chen had been falsely accused, they couldn't be bothered to care. There were so many righteous experts that it even exceeded Ji Chang Kong's expectations. 
There were actually 30,000 of them that joined his side, and more were coming. However, then Ji Chang Kong recalled that of the two large entrances to the immemorial path from the eastern wasteland, their entrance had only been for sects that were comparatively higher in status, but the other entrance had no such restrictions. He hadn't expected so many new celestials to have appeared in the eastern wasteland. It seemed that they came from smaller sects that had entered from the other entrance. The fact that he had tens of thousands of experts made Ji Chang Kong incomparably excited. His vanity was completely satisfied. He had actually become the leader of such a powerful army, although the majority of them were just rank 1 celestials, with only a tenth being rank 2 celestials and less than a hundredth being rank 3 celestials. These numbers made him completely confident. Time passed day by day. The immemorial path had gone from peaceful to chaotic, and then back to peaceful. But the undercurrents of this peace were extremely grave. It was the calm before the storm. Long Chen was still in seclusion. Men Qi had already come out, as she had long since reached the first heaven stage. Her Qi Si had been expanded by a full 10%. During this time, she had been nourishing the soul items that Long Chen had given her. The item nourishing technique he gave her came from the Eastern Wasteland Bell, and it was incomparably refined. It allowed a person to form a practically perfect connection with an item spirit, allowing them to release the greatest power from a treasure item. Sister Men Qi, suddenly, a golden armored monstrosity appeared in the sky and landed in the ruins. Has everyone been well? Is there any news? Asked Men Qi. Guo Ran was their messenger and information gatherer. His armor had already been completely remade allowing his speed to reach a new level. Everyone's fine. They don't have anything important to do now, just focusing on nourishing their treasure items. As for the outside world, the ancient races and corrupt path are rather calm. Only the righteous path is like a pack of idiots. Continuously smearing boss. That Ji Chang Kong really is an idiot. He's like a shrew screaming on the streets. Then there are those shameless fellows who clearly know boss was falsely accused but still can blindly spout those lies without blinking. It's infuriating. Rage Guo Ran. Let them do as they please. They're only doing that for their own protection. Is there any other news? Asked Men Qi, indifferent to their actions. Ah, there was one laughable thing. I heard that Ji Chang Kong captured Long Chen and is going to execute him at Drake Mountain. What a joke. Tell me, don't you think they're idiots? Sister Men Qi, what is it? Guo Ran had been laughing when he suddenly realized something was off. Men Qi's expression was grave now. Perhaps there's trouble now, said Men Qi solemnly. She formed some hand seals. Chapter 904 Sinister Scheme Translator Born to be Men Qi formed hand seals, and a spiritual rune lit up on her hand before fading. Guo Ran could count as a dabbler beast tamer no, so he knew Men Qi was sending a message to her housepets. They two of them were currently hunting for food. Sister Men Qi, what's wrong? Guo Ran was still startled. What he had thought was a funny joke had caused such a reaction in Men Qi. The only thing you learn from Long Chen is his useless skills. When will you get past his ability to joke and curse, and actually learn any of his smarts? Rebuked Men Qi. I, Guo Ran immediately felt awkward. It seemed the only things he wanted to learn from his boss were pick up and show off arts. This is no joke, but a trap set up by Ji Chang Kong. He at least has goals in announcing that he has captured Long Chen. One is to force us to show ourselves, said Men Qi. But we're not so stupid. That's just an insult to our intelligence. Guo Ran still didn't understand. You're underestimating Ji Chang Kong. His other goal in sending in this announcement is to draw out the aboriginals. Once they appear, his second goal will be achieved, said Men Qi. But the aboriginals wouldn't get duped so easily. Right. Guo Ran frowned. That's why I said you underestimated Ji Chang Kong. Since he dared to make such a naive move, he must have another move we don't know about yet. He definitely has a trick to dupe the aboriginals. My guess is once they fall for it, they'll kill a portion of them and then release news that they'll kill the rest. With Long Chen's character, how could he just allow them to slaughter the aboriginals? After all, the aboriginals once saved his life. In this manner, Long Chen will fall into Ji Chang Kong's trap, and it'll also confirm his relationship with the aboriginals. Then the evidence from those two four heavenly geniuses will become ironclad. No matter what Long Chen says, He'll be viewed as a traitor of the righteous path and attacked from every direction. If he's killed, the Zhuanshan Dao sect won't be able to do anything. And if he survives, then to protect themselves. The best case is they will help Long Chen slip away. At that time, Long Chen will be viewed as an enemy of all sides. This is a malicious scheme with no solution, said Men Qi. Fuck.
this damn Ji Chang Kong, cursed Guo Ran. Although all of this was just a guess from Men Qi, her guess was reasonable. Even if it was off, it wouldn't be off by too much. Guo Ran had an urge to slap himself. All day, he only thought about showing off. This matter had been seen through even by Men Qi. If it had been Long Chen, he would have seen through it easily. His intelligence was still too lacking compared to his boss. Furthermore, Long Chen has said that Lord Heavenly has left to somewhere unknown, and thus the aboriginals don't have a leader right now. For something like this to happen now, it's worrying. Men Qi frowned. Then what should we do? Should we disturb boss? Asked Guo Ran. We can't. Each time Long Chen goes into seclusion now, he stays in it for around half a month. There's still one or two days until he will come out naturally. This time is too important to him, so we can't disturb him. My housepits will quickly return. I'll leave the blood phoenix to protect Long Chen and give him the message. Once he awakens, he'll immediately rush over there. You have to alert all our people as fast as possible. Have them all hurry toward Drake Mountain. There will probably be a huge battle there, said Men Qi solemnly. Originally, Song Mingyuan and Li Qi had been with them, but then Long Chen had told them to find a place with denser earth energy to continue expanding their seas. So Guo Ran needed to alert everyone on his own. What about you? I'll rush over there first. Hopefully, I can get there in time before the aboriginals suffer too many casualties, said Men Qi. Suddenly, two huge figures landed from the sky. They were the Blood Phoenix and the Earth Dragon. The Blood Phoenix was at the peak of the seventh rank. Its aura was unsteady, showing vague signs of being close to advancing ranks. When Guo Ran saw the Earth Dragon, he let out a startled cry. It has advanced to the eighth rank. Didn't your Earth Dragon also reach the seventh rank? Your soul energy is limited, so you need to nourish it longer. Only once a magical beast's intelligence rises will it be easier for it to advance ranks. However, this earth dragon has only just advanced, and its combat power isn't completely steady yet. It's only a bit stronger than the blood phoenix right now. I'll take the earth dragon with me, and you alert everyone as fast as possible. I'll do my best to stall. Men Qi put the earth dragon into her spiritual space and told the blood phoenix to guard Long Chen. She also left a sheet of paper for Long Chen, explaining what had happened. Then she and Guo Ran split up. Drake Mountain was an unusual mountain. It was shaped like a circle, like a drake coiled on the ground. It formed a huge basin, with the only opening between the drake's head and tail. Within the 3,000-mile basin, shouts and roars rang out. Hundreds of aboriginals were fighting against righteous experts. They were caught in an irresolvable situation. The one leading them was a young expert. This person was the immemorial path's youngest tribe leader, Shaofei. When he had heard that his tribesmen had personally witnessed Long Chen being covered in blood and chased down by the righteous experts, he had immediately summoned all the elites of his tribe and charged over. Following the tracks, he eventually reached Drake Mountain, and only then had he realized he had been duped. The blood-covered Long Chen was a fake, but his outer appearance and even his weapons looked just like the original. This kind of trap was something the righteous path had long since overused to the point that not even children would fall for it. But the aboriginals were isolated from the rest of the world. The tribes all trusted each other and worked together. They had never schemed or been schemed against. Ji Chang Kong had accurately seen through that fatal weakness of theirs, and he had managed to trick them with such a childish trick. The people Xiao Fei were leading were the Xiao tribe's elites. They had all reached sea expansion, but this place wasn't their ancestral land. Although there had been a change in the immemorial path, and the curse had already lightened a great deal, they were still only able to release 80% of their power. The good thing was that there weren't too many enemies. They fought for a full day and night. Suddenly, another batch of aboriginals killed their way in. Uncle Shi Kang, cried Xiao Fei. The person leading this group was a middle-aged man, the future leader of the Stone Tribe. Shi Kang, we've fallen into a trap. Uncle Shi Kang, run. But as he shouted, a mass of righteous experts flowed down from the mountain, surrounding them. Shi Kang had received a report from his subordinates that Long Chen was heavily injured and being chased down. He hadn't even had time to inform his tribe leader before coming to assist. Both of them had been duped. But by the time they wanted to retreat, they were surrounded by righteous experts. It was impossible for them to escape. Following Shi Kang, three more waves of aboriginals came and fell for the same trap. Ji Chang Kong had clearly figured out the locations of quite a few aboriginal tribes. Thus, this simple scheme of his was meeting with shocking effectiveness. These aboriginals are fools. They deserve to die if they couldn't even see through such a simple scheme. 
Ji Chang Kong sat in a hidden location, watching everything with disdain. He was in a secret room within the mountain. Other than Ji Chang Kong, there was another expert with him. He was Ji Chang Kong's new subordinate, the Seven Star Gates Zheng Ming Kong. Brother Ji's strategic planning is beyond perfect. I, Zheng Ming Kong, could never come up with such a thing even if you gave me a lifetime. Zheng Ming Kong sighed regretfully, but he was clearly sucking up. Ming Kong, you definitely won't regret joining me. The Seven Star Gate is just a small, worthless sect no matter how good the seed. If it's planted in a garbage environment, it will easily die. Even if it manages to grow, it will be weak and frail. The most important thing is to grow in fertile land. As long as the soil is fertile, you'll be able to plant deeper roots and have more room to grow. Now you've also seen this. Although this game of chess has just started, the result is already obvious. Whether or not Long Chen dies, it's not important. My remote heaven gangs rise to the pinnacle of the eastern wasteland can no longer be stopped. In the Seven Star Gate, even if you endure to the end, you'll only end up as a sect leader of a trash sect but once my remote heaven gang leads the eastern wasteland and forms the remote heaven alliance, all you need to do is properly assist me, and vice alliance master's position will be yours, laughed Ji Chang Kong. Zhen Ming Kong was delighted. He hastily bowed. Many thanks for your favor, alliance master. Ji Chang Kong nodded. He praised Zhen Ming Kong for being smart. He wasn't like that poor brat Feng Jian who wanted to talk about some pride. If he had also joined him, they would have become his right and left hands. Then his plans would be even more perfect. Feng Jian refused to submit, and even said that the only one worthy for him to follow was Long Chen. That infuriated him, and he had decided that once this matter was over, he would properly settle things with him. Any news from Zhu Yu's side? Asked Ji Chang Kong. A disciple just reported that they're fully prepared said Zhen Ming Kong. Good. This chis move of mine is a bit big, and it's a bit too much for me. So to get the greatest profit, I have no choice but to work with them. Remember, there's no need to wait until the cooperation is over. As long as you see that it's more or less done, directly take action, kill as many as you can, and then immediately scatter, said Ji Chang Kong. Yes, I've passed down those instructions. Good. If you're handling this, then I'm at ease. Ji Chang Kong smiled as he continued watching the battle outside. It's about time. Send orders to kill half of them. I hear the aboriginals have soul spirit jades back in their tribes. Once they die, their jade plates shatter. By killing a few of them, we should be able to bait more people in. An icy and excited smile appeared on Ji Chang Kong's face. He delighted in this feeling of control. Kill. A group of people charged at Shi Kang and the others. The aboriginals only had hundreds of people here. Thus. For them to face over a thousand righteous experts, with quite a few being ranked two celestials, their hearts sank. Sorry, soul extermination life devouring art. A sigh suddenly rang out from the sky. Chapter 905 Menki displays her power translator. Born to be more righteous experts suddenly appeared. They were multiple times their number, charging at Xiaofei and the others. This time, they were no longer just launching probing blows. Having received Ji Chang Kong's orders, they were going to slaughter a large mass of the aboriginals. During this time, Ji Chang Kong had used Long Chen as a bait to draw the aboriginals over. Then the baited aboriginals would act as more bait for more aboriginals. However, the aboriginals didn't send very many reinforcements. They had clearly already realized something was wrong. Perhaps they were gathering and discussing what was going on. Ji Chang Kong delighted in this feeling of control, of forcing his opponents to dance to his tune. Once a large portion of the aboriginals were killed, the other ones would definitely panic. They would definitely send a huge army to save them. In the face of this many righteous experts' attacks, Xiaofei, Shi Kang, and the others' expressions were all grave. They had all made their preparations for the worst-case scenario. Brothers, this is a sinister trap. They want to use us to draw out more of our tribesmen, but we can't let them have their way. Do your best to kill as many as possible. Those who have died are heroes. And as for those who haven't died, brothers, you should know what to do, shouted Shi Kang. He had seen through some clues. Kill. We definitely can't implicate others. The trapped aboriginals let out furious roars. They understood what he was saying. If they all died fighting, then their tribesmen wouldn't need to think about saving them. Then they wouldn't fall for this trap. They had all made their preparations. Either they had to die to their enemy's blades, or they had to die to their own blades. Of course, before dying. They had to break even. The righteous experts were like a flood now. Their numbers continued to grow. 
Just as the few hundred aboriginals were about to be submerged, a sigh rang out in the air. Sorry, soul extermination life devouring art. The voice was beautiful, but it was full of regret and unwillingness. A terrifying fluctuation spread around the battlefield. The righteous experts stiffened and collapsed on the ground. Their life auras had disappeared. Everything had happened too quickly, and their momentum carried them forward for a while before they became still. Of over 2,000 people, only 40 to 50 experts had barriers of light appear over their bodies. That was the automatic defense of protective soul items. But those barriers had only just appeared before they dimmed and shattered. No, those people immediately despaired. But it was too late for anything. The flames of their souls were like candles that had been dropped inside a pool of ice water. They were instantly extinguished. What? Everyone was shocked. The righteous experts had all been killed in just a breath's time. Even Shi Kang and the others were dumbfounded. People raised their heads to see a graceful figure floating in the air. Her white robes were sacred and holy, and combined with her pure face, she was like a goddess from above the heavens. She was Menki. A trace of pain appeared in Menki's eyes. She didn't like fighting, and she didn't like killing people. But she knew that these aboriginals had helped Long Chen. If it were Long Chen, he would definitely do this. Since Long Chen would do it, then whether or not she liked it, she would support him. So she had used a soul art to undertake a large-scale slaughter. As soon as Menki appeared, corpses littered the ground. Everyone was appalled. They were all experienced people, and they knew they had just encountered a terrifying soul cultivator. But no matter how terrifying she was, how could she possibly kill this many people so quickly? Most of these people had possessed protective soul items, but even the strongest soul items had only lasted for less than a breath before running out of energy. Such a soul cultivator was truly too terrifying. The hidden Ji Chang Kong was shocked, but he quickly calmed down. He had fought Men Qi before, but back then, her soul arts hadn't been so terrifying. Fuck, I didn't expect Long Chen to have such luck with women. Ji Chang Kong became a bit jealous. He, don't worry, Alliance Master, how could any woman you fancy escape you? Zhen Ming Kong smiled. A woman with an immortal like charm like Men Qi was extremely rare in this world and any man would be moved. But Sheng Ming Kong didn't dare to express his own desire. However, Men Qi's arrival didn't cause Ji Chang Kong any worry. In fact, it relieved him. It meant everything was still going according to plan. Right now, he was just thinking of what he had to do to capture this peerless beauty. Many thanks for helping, miss. May I ask? Shi Kang cupped his fists to Men Qi, and all the aboriginals bowed. I am Long Chen's friend. Thank you everyone for taking care of Long Chen. In truth, Long Chen is fine, and he's already on his way here. Don't worry, Men Qi returned the etiquette. Long Chen's on his way? Haha, <laughs> good. Then I, Zhu Yu, can cut off his head. Suddenly, a cold laugh rang out, and a mass of corrupt disciples blocked the entrance to Drake Mountain, with Zhu Yu standing at the front. You fucker Zhu Yu, what the fuck are you doing? Cursed Ji Chang Kong. According to the plan, Zhu Yu was only supposed to appear once Long Chen was baited. Then both sides would work together and make sure he had no chance of running. But Zhu Yu had appeared now. Once Long Chen learned that both the righteous and corrupt Pav's experts were lying in wait here, would he really just stupidly jump in? Ji Chang Kong cursed every member of Zhu Yu's family. Girl, this lord has taken a fancy to you. The others will all die, but you won't. I hope you can see the situation and not force me to use violence. Zhu Yu looked at Men Qi with admiration. Men Qi was incomparably beautiful. Zhu Yu had only seen one woman as beautiful as her, and that was Len Yuian. However, even though he had gotten stronger, he didn't dare to place such thoughts on her, but he had no such qualms with Men Qi. More and more corrupt experts were appearing. By the time over 10,000 experts had appeared behind Zhu Yu, Shi Kang and the others' expressions were extremely ugly. Over 10,000 C expansion experts, almost half of them were rank 2 celestials, and they had hundreds of rank 3 celestials. Furthermore, there were three fellows with vast auras behind Zhu Yu, auras powerful enough to cause everybody to despair. When fighting invaders, without an altar's protection against the curse, only foundation forging aboriginals could fight against rank 3C expansion celestials, and their power would only be slightly greater. But now, there were four rank 4 celestials. Even if all the aboriginals arrived here, they wouldn't be able to defeturing such terrifying opponents. It would be a one-sided slaughter. You fucker Zhu Yu. You've actually ruined all my work for one woman. Ji Chang Kong was clenching his teeth in fury. He hadn't expected Zhu Yu to be so unreliable. 
Now the chance of Long Chen falling for this trap had fallen. Secretly spread my orders. The concealed righteous experts aren't to move. Let this bastard deal with this. If he really ruins this matter, I'll kill him. Order Ji Chang Kong. Zhen Ming Kong nodded and left, leaving only a gnashing Ji Chang Kong in the room. The battlefield was still empty. Men Qi's figure slowly descended from the sky, and she landed in front of Shi Kang and the others. To Zhu Yu, she said, I've heard Long Chen mention your name. Oh, the more Zhu Yu looked at Men Qi, the itchier his heart grew. This goddess-like woman was too beautiful. He was only able to reply instinctively. Long Chen said that your neck was very hard, and cutting off your head took quite a bit of work. Is that true? Asked Men Qi lightly. Zhu Yu's expression instantly changed. The fact that Long Chen had cut off his head was his life's greatest humiliation and his greatest taboo right now. Even just mentioning it was no different than a slap in the face. Zhu Yu turned icy. Looks like you don't know how to appreciate kindness. Since that's the case, I won't be courteous. What? You want to personally take action? Asked Men Qi. HMPH. Don't worry. If I were to personally handle you, it would just be bullying. You're a rank 3 celestial. So I'll also send out a rank 3 celestial. If you lose, obediently let yourself be captured. If you cooperate, I can spare these idiots' lives. Zhu Yu pointed to Shi Kang and the others. However, a crafty light flickered deep in Zhu Yu's eyes. This was a scoundrel oath. He had said he would spare their lives, but he couldn't represent the righteous experts. They were still allowed to kill as they pleased. Men Qi was a soul expert, and right now, she had already refined that mysterious expert soul crystals from the Zhuanshan Dao sect's trial. Her spiritual strength was as vast as an ocean, and this little trick was unable to escape her eyes. No problem, Men Qi agreed to his terms. Don't, you can't, this bastard is simply conspiring against you. We can't exchange our lives for a woman's dignity. The aboriginals immediately shouted. They refused to allow such a matter to occur. If Men Qi was defeated, just how were they supposed to face Long Chen? They would rather die than be saved like this. Don't worry, I'm confident. Men Qi smiled at them, and she also sent a spiritual message to Shi Kang. Shi Kang was also unable to accept this, but once he received her message, he stopped everyone's shouting and led them to back up, leaving space for Men Qi to fight. The aboriginals couldn't understand what he was doing, but his position was clearly high in their hearts. They still listened to Shi Kang's orders. Let's begin. Men Qi's robes began to drift as she slowly floated into the sky. She made people have an urge to worship her. I'll handle you. Zhu Yu cast a glance at a certain person. That corpse-like man immediately flew into the air. Chapter 906 Stall Tactics Translator Born to be a red-robed man holding a bone staff flew into the air. He was emaciated, without the slightest bit of flesh on his face. He looked like a skeleton, as if all his blood had been sucked dry. The bone staff had an egg-sized skull at the top. It looked like a human skull, but a human skull couldn't be that small. He immediately released his aura, and Black Key surged around his body. His aura contained a sensation of rot. When that was added to his appearance, he looked like a zombie that had just crawled out of its coffin. The Black Key behind him gradually formed nine images. Each one of them floated in the sky. Space suddenly shook, and nine desiccated corpses appeared behind him. Their skin was also black, and they released an aura of decay. The images and corpses merged together. An evil and terrifying aura instantly erupted, causing the sky to shake. Heavens, those corpses are alive. Someone cried in shock. Those nine corpses had begun to move upon merging with that black key. Girl, why don't you surrender? We're both soul cultivators. So your soul attacks are ineffective against me. I'd advise you to just obediently give up. He said coldly. His voice sounded like the grating of a toenail against a pot. He was a rank 3 celestial and a powerful soul cultivator at that. The nine corpses he had summoned had been foundation forging experts when they were alive, and they had been refined into corrupt corpses by him. Although they didn't have a foundation forging experts battle power now, the hardness of their bodies and their physical power were shockingly high. Even ordinary treasure items couldn't injure them. And he had nine such powerful corpses. Within the same realm, he had never encountered someone who was his match. So he was viewed very importantly by Zhu Yu, which was why he had been chosen to fight. Go ahead and attack. Men Qi shook her head. Then I won't be courteous. The corrupt expert formed hand seals, and the nine corrupt corpses charged at Men Qi, punching at her. What startled everyone was that their movements weren't stiff at all. They moved as if they were alive, 
These corpses were priceless treasures to that expert, and they had come from the righteous and corrupt battles. They were the fallen righteous experts. The righteous experts gathered the corrupt experts' souls and corpses and used them as tools in trials for their disciples. As for the corrupt path, they used the righteous experts' corpses as tools for battle. Before entering the immemorial path, his sect's elders had gifted him nine foundation forging experts, letting him refine them into corrupt corpses once he entered sea expansion. Without strong enough spiritual strength, he wouldn't be able to control such powerful corrupt corpses, but with them, he could essentially be counted as an apex figure amongst the corrupt path's rank three celestials. Boom. The nine corpses' punches smashed into a tower. That tower was 30 meters tall, with a total of nine levels. Menki was standing on the ninth level, indifferently looking at him. A protective treasure item? HMPH. Let me see just how long you can keep that up, sneered the corrupt expert. He controlled his nine corpses to attack the tower. Each time their fists smashed into the tower, ripples would spread on the tower. Their attacks were unable to reach Menki. This is the soul-suppressing tower, a middle-grade treasure item. Just what can you do to me? said Menki lightly, but her expression was a bit unnatural as if she wasn't as indifferent as she appeared. In truth, Menki really was a bit uneasy. She was different than Long Chen. For Long Chen, nonsense lies could pour out of his mouth as soon as he opened it. In fact, his lies were sometimes even more believable than the truth. But Menki was an obedient child. She had never tricked anyone. However, in order to stall for time, she lied. This soul-suppressing tower was actually a high-grade treasure item. That lie made her appear unnatural. But that unnatural appearance made Zhu Yu and the others think that she wasn't confident and was trying to cover it up. Furthermore, low-grade treasure items were normally unable to materialize their larger true forms, while middle-grade treasure items normally did materialize true bodies around 30 meters long. This size made them believe that it was a middle-grade treasure item. However, the truth was that this soul-suppressing tower was extremely powerful, and through the item-nourishing technique from the Eastern Wasteland Bell, her connection to it was extremely strong. If she didn't release its true power, it was very difficult for outsiders to see through its grade. HMPH, watch me smash your broken tower. It's just a middle grade treasure item. My corrupt corpses can pulverize it with their bare hands, sneered the corrupt expert. He had absolute confidence in his corpses. The corpses crazily attacked without any rhythm. They were like madmen foolishly beating a drum, and it was extremely unpleasant to listen to. But the concealed righteous experts didn't dare make a sound due to Ji Chang Kong's orders. Xiao Fei, Shi Kang, and the other aboriginals were watching nervously. Men Qi might have told Shi Kang that she was just stalling for time until reinforcements arrived, but he still wasn't at ease. Hearing the tone from the corrupt experts, he felt this battle to be extremely unfavorable for Men Qi. The corrupt expert was confident in breaking the tower. The other corrupt experts calmly watched. Soul cultivators were very rare so they wanted to see their power. For those newly advanced rank 3 celestials, they wanted to see what this fellow relied on to be viewed so importantly by Zhu Yu. One hour, two hours, three hours, a total of six hours passed, but the tower was still fine. That made the corrupt experts grow a bit impatient. Your corrupt corpses only have this little ability? Don't tell me you're planning on hitting it until next year. If that happened, then before that woman was killed, we die from this irritating noise insulted one corrupt expert. Even Zhu Yu was growing impatient as this was taking too long. However, he didn't say anything because this also had its benefits. Men Qi's soul energy was being exhausted. Using a treasure item required a vast amount of spiritual strength and spiritual yuan. Once she exhausted all her energy, wouldn't she also be easily captured? This was the best way to capture her alive. It was best to avoid having an accident and getting her killed. But now, six hours later, Men Qi was still calmly watching from inside the tower. That leisurely appearance was just one step away from sitting and drinking tea. Hearing that insult, the fighting corrupt expert glanced at Zhu Yu. He saw that Zhu Yu was also a bit impatient. He clenched his teeth and formed new hand seals. The projection of his key C appeared behind him, and black key floated within it. Then it transformed into nine streams that entered the corrupt corpses. The corrupt corpses began to glow, and their auras grew to a terrifying level. Black runes appeared on their bodies. Suddenly, their attacks grew to a whole new level. Each time they struck the tower's barrier, the entire tower would shudder. There were signs of the barrier collapsing. Men Qi's expression finally changed. She formed new hand seals, and the soul-suppressing tower began to revolve. 
She had clearly increased her own output of energy. Everyone's expressions changed. Now the corrupt experts understood why this fellow was viewed so importantly by Zuyu. After doing this, each of his corrupt corpses was comparable to a rank 3 celestial. It was no wonder he was claimed to be the number one expert below the rank 4 celestial level. He truly possessed that power. Shi Kang and the others' expressions changed. Such battle power was too terrifying, and even Xiaofei jumped. He was a rank 3 celestial, but because of the curse, his combat power could only be compared to an acquired rank 3 celestial. He would definitely lose against an innate rank 3 celestial. Thus, each attack from the nine corrupt corpses could be fatal to him. He finally experienced the terror of invaders. It was no wonder the invaders would invade their territories after the spiritual key eruption. It was because they had the power to and didn't need to have any misjivings. Thinking of that, Xiaofei's hatred for the heavens surged. He wanted to be like Long Chen and tear them apart. Explosive sounds shook the sky. The tower was now revolving, as both sides began to use their full power. One wanted to break their way through their opponent's defense, while the other was pushing herself to her full power, her face slightly pale as she bitterly endured. Another six hours passed. The corrupt expert was sweating. This endurance was too shocking. The only thing that comforted him was that Men Qi's face was also getting paler. Another six hours passed. The corrupt expert's body was quivering. He was clearly overdrafting his power and had to be under immense pressure. As for Men Qi, she had clearly reached the point of a lamp with no oil. The soul-suppressing tower was revolving slower now, and its barrier was growing dimmer and dimmer. She was like a candle flickering in the wind, one that might be extinguished at any moment. No wonder Long Chen likes to be mischievous all the time. It really is fun. While Men Qi bitterly endured, an indescribable delight appeared in her heart. That was pride in playing everyone else. As the saying went, following good examples was hard but following a bad example was as simple as a single slip. There was no need for a teacher to teach you. You would quickly manage to see the way and be engrossed by that moving feeling. Time passed bit by bit, and the flickering candle in the wind was still burning tenaciously. People were holding their breath as they waited for it to extinguish, but it refused to go out. What is going on? It's been a whole day. Suddenly, an expert looked up at the sky and felt that something was off. Due to the tense atmosphere, they hadn't sensed the flow of time. The only exception was the one fighting. He had felt this day to be as long as a year, and he was absolutely exhausted. But his opponent was still bitterly enduring, so he couldn't help but curse. If this continued, he would exhaust himself to death. Ji Chang Kong was still watching in his hidden room. He hadn't cared particularly at the beginning. If they wanted to exhaust themselves, then they could exhaust themselves. In any case, he was just waiting for his prey to enter his net. But as more and more time passed, he felt an inexplicable jitteriness, that made him uncomfortable. Now that a whole day had passed, he wasn't able to endure it any longer. That feeling of unease was extremely intense now. Don't bother with the corrupt experts. To rank three celestials, go out and kill a portion of the aboriginals, order Ji Chang Kong. He couldn't let that idiot Zhu Yu ruin his plan. Two figures flew out. The aura of rank three celestials erupted as they shot toward the aboriginals. Two rays of terrifying sword key slashed toward the aboriginals. Xiaofei and Shi Kang were startled and hastily defended with their full power. As a result, they were sent flying by the impact. They were under the suppression of the curse here and unable to retaliate. Die you inferior aboriginals. The two righteous experts shouted and moved in for the kill. But they had just raised their weapons when sword light flashed. It was simply a flash. The two experts didn't even have time to take out their defensive treasure items before they were turned to dust. Chapter 907 Arriving One by One Translator Born to be before people could even clearly see it. The sword had already been resheathed. A man stood in the air. He gave off the feeling of a sharp blade. This person was Yu Zifeng. He had already advanced to the first heaven stage of sea expansion. And he seemed like an awakened divine weapon. As soon as he appeared, he shocked everyone. His attack had come too quickly and too sharply. Many people hadn't even seen anything happen at all before it was over. Two rank three celestials had been killed just like that. There were countless people who used swords. But there were only a few that could be called sword cultivators. As expected, he's still alive. Ji Chang Kong sneered. He had a deep impression of this powerful sword cultivator. Back then Ji Hongling had warned him that he had to kill this sword Dao genius. They couldn't allow him to mature. However. Ji Chang Kong didn't make a move right now. Since Zhu Yu had already revealed himself and ruined his plans, 
Then Zhu Yu could deal with the consequences. Do you need help? Asked Yu Zifeng. No, it's fine as long as you protect them. Men Qi shook her head, her face extremely pale. Finally, someone had arrived. That made Men Qi much more relaxed. If Yu Zifeng had arrived, then the others should already be on their way. The more time that passed, the more favorable their situation would be. Someone, go kill him. Zhu Yu frowned. Running into a powerful sword cultivator was a bit out of his expectations. However, this wasn't enough to shock him. Five experts behind him nodded, and they shot toward Yu Zifeng. They were all innate rank 3 celestials, but because of their impure bloodlines, they hadn't been able to use their advancements to see expansion to also advance to rank 4 celestials. But even so, their combat power wasn't something ordinary rank 3 celestials could compare to. There was an impassable divide between them. Brat. Time for you to die. The five of them released their auras. Treasure items in their hands as they attacked Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng coldly stared at them. His right hand slowly grasped the sword on his back. Flying rainbow came out of its sheath. Striking like a bolt of lightning. It reached one of the experts in an instant. That expert was horrified. By the time he reacted. Yu Zifeng's sword was already right in front of his chest. His sword seemed to be able to slash through spatial restrictions. Despite doing his best to block with his saber, it was ineffective. What horrified everyone was that even his treasure item was cut in two along with him. Scatter. That is a high-grade treasure item, shouted one of the corrupt experts. Only a high-grade treasure item could so easily cut through a low-grade treasure item. But it was too late. Yu Zifeng's sword began to glow, and suddenly a sea of sword light enveloped the four of them. They didn't even get to make a sound before being killed. Yu Zifeng's comprehension into the sword Dao was incredibly deep now, and combined with the peak grade treasure item Flying Rainbow, he was like a tiger with wings. Zhu Yu's expression finally changed. He hadn't expected Yu Zifeng to possess such battle prowess. Before he had to say anything, another expert suddenly flew out from his side. Let me handle him. That person was a rank 4 celestial, and he held a long spear in his hands. That spear was speckled with rust and extremely ancient. But if you were to look closely, you would see that the supposed rust was actually dried blood stains. This was a terrifying corrupt weapon. The blood stains were marks left behind when the spear killed supreme experts and absorbed their soul essence. Ordinary experts didn't even have the qualifications to leave behind such a speckle once they were killed. Blood key erupted as soon as the spear appeared. The sound of countless ghouls wailing filled the air. Boom. When Yu Zifeng's sword slashed onto the spear, it merely left behind a tiny white mark. This spear was clearly extremely high quality. Even if it wasn't a peak grade treasure item, it had to be high grade. Die. The rank 4 celestial spear suddenly grew explosively, piercing toward Yu Zifeng. He had actually summoned his treasure item's true body. Yu Zifeng snorted and his sword also instantly grew. He had obtained Flying Rainbow's approval, allowing him to fully release its power. Boom. Terrifying key waves erupted and everyone hastily retreated. This was the power displayed when treasure items released their true bodies. Both Yu Zifeng and the rank 4 celestial were blown back by the other's power. Then with a cold shout, they once more attacked. The two of them released their full power, causing the void to rumble. How is this possible? Isn't it said that rank 4 celestials have an absolute suppression against rank 3 celestials? But that brat doesn't seem to be at a disadvantage. The corrupt experts couldn't help being shocked. The reason why rank 3 celestials didn't dare to fight rank 4 celestials was because of the suppression of the heavenly Dao runes. He is being suppressed. Look, his runic domain is clearly being suppressed and forced to a small size because of senior Kuta's runes. But because he is a sword cultivator, his attacks are extremely sharp. That's why he's barely able to remain undefeated. But once enough time passes and he runs out of energy, he'll definitely be killed, said someone. On one side. Yu Zifeng was fighting intensely against the rank 4 celestial, causing huge explosive sounds. On the other side, Men Qi was still bitterly enduring the attacks of her opponent. The expert fighting her was about to go crazy. Just as Yu Zifeng had appeared and everyone's attention had been drawn to him, the zombie-like corrupt expert had stealthily taken out a medicinal pill, one that allowed him to regain a part of his energy. But even so, he was still unable to defa during Men Qi, although she seemed to be on the verge of collapse. She refused to fall. He almost had an urge to kneel down and beg her to give up. If she continued, he would be the one to die. Zhu Yu looked from the tottering Menki to Yu Zifeng. Lost in thought for a moment, he suddenly waved his hand. A few people, go and kill some of the aboriginals. 
dozens of corrupt experts immediately shot toward the spectating aboriginals. Many of them were ranked two celestials. Ha ha ha. I suppose this counts as making it on time. Brothers. Kill. Suddenly, heroic laughter rang out. Out of nowhere, over 30 experts wearing righteous robes appeared. There were men and women in that group, and the one leading them was a rank 4 celestial. That rank 4 celestial was a handsome man who looked to be in his 20s. Wielding his sword imposingly, he led his people to attack the corrupt experts. Everything happened too quickly. Those corrupt experts had only just charged forward when they were slaughtered. The majority of them were killed by the leader of that group. In front of a rank 4 celestial, they were nothing. Who are you? shouted Zhu Yu, the Wind Chant Pavilion's disciple, Feng Jian. That man raised his sword at Zhu Yu. The Wind Chant Pavilion's arrival shocked everyone, whether it was Ji Chang Kong, Zhu Yu, or even Men Qi. Why would they have appeared here? And it seemed they had come to help Long Chen. The aboriginals were also startled. But other than Long Chen, they didn't trust anyone. They tightly held their weapons. Who knew whether or not this was some trap? You're going to stand on Long Chen's side. Zhu Yu was startled. If that was true, then they were too stupid. So stupid that he couldn't believe it. Haha, <laughs> is that very unexpected? It is true. This is no different than courting death. However, we came just to court death. What's there to fear? Don't cultivators get stronger so they can do whatever they want to do? Otherwise, why bother cultivating? A portion of us simply admire Long Chen. For example, me. Another portion of us have received Long Chen's favor. So even though we know we'll die, we refuse to be turtles that simply wait for their deaths. He, to be alive is to be willful. Feng Jian seemed calm, as if he didn't care about life or death. That made Shi Kang, Xiao Fei, and the others feel profound respect for him. If what Feng Jian was saying was true, then he really was a true man. HMPH, I didn't expect this idiot to actually be so stupid. Well, killing him here is also good. There's no need to find an excuse. Ji Chang Kong watched from his room, a sinister smile on his face. Should I go and cut him down first? Probed Chen Ming Kong. He had his own plans. In his eyes, Ji Chang Kong was the future leader of the Eastern Wastelands Junior Generation. Thus, he would be Ji Chang Kong's right hand. In truth, he really was worried about Feng Ji and joining their side. If that happened, he would have a competitor. That was why he wanted to kill Feng Jian. One reason was to prove his own worth, and another reason was to get rid of a possible troublemaker. No need. That idiot Zhu Yu dared ruin my plan. All the consequences will be left to him, sneered Ji Chang Kong. Outside, Zhu Yu was icily staring at Feng Jian. He even suspected that this person was one of Ji Chang Kong's chis pieces who was intentionally sneaking his way to Long Chen's side to stab him in the back. But he quickly tossed aside that thinking. The probability of that was too low, and it would be too easy for Long Chen to notice it. There's no need to care too much. A few more of you, go out and kill half of the aboriginals. Remember, don't kill them all. As for anyone else, do as you please, ordered Zhu Yu. Following his orders, thousands of corrupt experts charged out, with the rank 4 celestial leading them. He went straight toward Feng Jian. Zhu Yu was clearly using his true pieces now. Boom. Suddenly, a spear shot out like a meteorite at the rank 4 celestial. That rank 4 celestial was startled and hastily blocked. What? But as a result, the power of the spear sent him flying. If he hadn't been caught by other experts, it was unknown how far he would have flown. Great earthen spears no one had seen who had thrown this spear. Suddenly, two figures appeared in front of them. Their hands slapped on the ground. Retreat. Someone felt something was off and cried out with shock. Chapter 908 Soul Martial Dual Cultivation Translator. Born to be but it was too late. Countless spears shot out of the ground with each one of them 30 meters long and incomparably sharp. These experts' sense of danger hadn't even been triggered before they were skewered. Countless miserable screams rang out. The unending spears were like a huge wave devouring them. The majority of the corrupt experts that had been charging out were now killed. Only a small portion with extremely sharp senses had managed to escape with their lives. But seeing the endless spears on the ground, they felt a cold breeze on their backs. Those who died had been killed in the most humiliating and terrifying way. The spears that were enveloped by runes had pierced out of the ground and out of their bodies. Those that hadn't escaped fast enough and had been struck felt their bodies harden, and they quickly became earthen statues that then shattered. Haha, <laughs> what powerful earth energy. Brother, you really are vicious. Up in the sky, there was a muscular man with a head as bright as the sun. That person was Gu Yang. As for his bald head, 
It wasn't on purpose but because of a cultivation technique passed down from his ancestors. In this lifetime, he shouldn't even think about growing a strand of hair on his head. Gu Yang held a golden spear, his muscles practically bulging with explosive power. Standing in the air, he gave off boundless pressure. Haha, <laughs> since you could get strong, how could us brothers not follow? Laughed Li Qi. After refining the earth spirit beads energy, their spirit roots had changed. They had instantly become experts capable of controlling earth energy and were finally able to vent. Just as everyone was shocked by Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan's arrival, the sound of vomiting blood rang out in their ears. That expert fighting Men Qi finally couldn't endure any longer. He vomited several mouthfuls of blood and fainted. This fight, which had taken a day and a half, had finally reached its conclusion. Men Qi put away the soul-suppressing tower, standing in the air. Her pale face recovered to its original rosy color. She didn't appear the slightest bit tired. You, 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 PFT. The corrupt expert pointed at Men Qi, shuddering. He vomited another mouthful of blood. He finally realized Men Qi had just been playing him. Sorry, Zhu Yu, you won't be able to achieve that desire of yours, said Men Qi indifferently. In truth, using the soul suppressing tower was extremely taxing, especially to a person's soul energy. It was just that Men Qi was connected to the soul suppressing tower's item spirit, and the two of them had worked together. The soul suppressing tower had been in charge of defending while Men Qi had been in charge of absorbing energy from the air to make up for the consumption, let alone fighting for a day and a half. She could have continued this kind of battle for a year without losing any soul energy. Lord, that expert looked at Zhu Yu, aggrieved. Zhu Yu icily stared at him. I only care about the results, and I don't like excuses. Sorry, that expert let out a miserable scream as Zhu Yu took out a bone claw and crushed his head. That white bone claw was like a greedy beast. It crazily sucked the blood from the crushed head, desiccating the corpse. His essence blood and heavenly Dao runes had all been absorbed. The corrupt expert's hearts shook. Zhu Yu's ruthlessness was famed within the corrupt path. Zhu Yu slowly pulled back the bone claw, his expression calm, as if he had done something completely unremarkable. He turned to face Men Qi. You were stalling for time for them? Why hasn't Long Chen come? If you're patient, Long Chen will quickly arrive, said Men Qi indifferently. At this time, Men Qi was standing with Gu Yang and the others in front of the aboriginals. They were greeting Feng Jian's people. Although it was their first time meeting, after following Long Chen for so long, they had been infected by his habit of using intuition to judge others. Just looking at Feng Jian, they judged him to be a righteous man. He didn't seem to be that kind of petty, scheming person. Thus, they directly treated him as one of them. Seeing Gu Yang and the others treat them like their own people without even asking anything. Feng Jian couldn't help being moved. This kind of magnanimity was something only the legendary Dragonblood Legion could possess. Even though he hadn't seen Long Chen yet, just this was enough for him to sacrifice his life for. Wait for him? No. My time is precious. Even if I have to wait for him, I have to prepare some gifts first. Zhu Yu icily smiled. Now that he knew Long Chen was coming, he was at ease. He turned to the people behind him. These aboriginals have no use anymore. Kill them all. As for Long Chen's group, I only want that woman alive. I only need the heads of the others. Now's the time for you to display your use. Don't disappoint me. With Long Chen's women and brothers here, then with his character, even if this place was a mountain of blades or a sea of flames, he would come. Since that was the case, these aboriginals weren't important. As for Ji Chang Kong's plans, he hadn't cared about them from the start. He had always believed that schemes were useless in front of power. As long as he could kill Long Chen, he wouldn't care about any plans. He would then let his army to slaughter their way into the aboriginals' ancestral lands. Even if they had foundation forging experts guarding it, he was confident in being able to destroy their altars in the first instant. Once the altars were destroyed, they would be under the heaven's curse and would be like sheep for the slaughter. At that time, the corrupt path could not only offer sacrifices to their corrupt weapons, but they could also wantonly snatch their resources. He was already getting impatient for it. Zhu Yu hoped that by the time Long Chen arrived, Men Qi would already be in his hands. At that moment, he would display Gu Yang and the others' heads as gifts. That was the only way to win back the face he had lost. Kill. The corrupt experts roared and charged. Other than Zhu Yu, they had all sprung into motion. Everyone below rank 4 Celestials. Fall back. There's no need for you to participate. All you need to do is protect yourselves. Otherwise. We won't be able to face boss. 
shouted Gu Yang. The aboriginals and disciples from the Wind Chant Pavilion were startled. Like this, wouldn't the only one participating in the battle be Feng Jian? Everyone, fall back, Shi Kang ordered his people. A battle of experts on this scale could kill them with just shock waves. Although he was unwilling, he had to admit that a battle on this level wasn't something they could participate in. Following Shi Kang's shout, all the aboriginals rapidly retreated. The battlefield was left to Meng Qi and the others. As for the Wind Chant Pavilion's disciples, they hesitated. But in the end, they retreated with the aboriginals. Boom. A rank 4 celestial had already exchanged blows with Gu Yang. That terrifying power caused the void to shake. Gu Yang's spear shook, and like a dragon coming out of the sea, his aura erupted. As a rank 3 celestial, he obstinately held back this rank 4 celestial. Both of them were brute power fighters, so their exchanges were particularly resounding. On the other hand, Yu Zifan was fighting with the previous spear-wielding rank 4 celestial. Sword key erupted, and spear images shook the sky. Neither side could take the advantage. Men Qi had just been about to use a large-scale soul art again to kill these experts when her heart shook. A terrifying ray of sword key locked down on her. The soul-suppressing tower appeared in front of her, blocking the sword key. This was an extremely powerful attack, and the soul-suppressing tower quivered. It was actually knocked back, and Men Qi felt a burst of pain in her soul. This attack had also contained a spiritual attack. For a physical attack to contain a spiritual aspect shocked Men Qi. Only now did she see the one who attacked her. It was a woman and also one of the corrupt path's rank 4 celestials. Are you curious? HMPH. Then I'll let you see the power of soul martial dual cultivation. The woman raised her sword. And sword flowers suddenly appeared in front of her. They transformed into millions of rays of sword light that shot toward Men Qi. Men Qi rapidly formed hand seals. And the soul suppressing tower rapidly grew. Becoming 300 meters tall. It revolved in the air and her enemy's sword light all shattered upon coming into contact with it HMPH. I knew your tower was strange. However, you'll still die. Suddenly, a voice rang out behind Men Qi, startling her. This corrupt woman's cultivation was extremely terrifying. It was unknown what she had done in order to suddenly appear behind Men Qi while she was distracted by the sword light. The corrupt woman launched a sudden sneak attack that came too fast to react to. Even though she was being sneak attacked, Men Qi's expression didn't change. She shook her head. Sorry, Long Chen has said that my life isn't just my own anymore. It belongs to everyone who loves me. So I can't die. The corrupt woman suddenly sensed that something was off. Seeing the hand seal Men Qi had formed, her expression changed. A furious roar shook the sky. A huge figure appeared, and one of its wings smashing toward her. The huge wing struck her like a hammer, smashing her into the ground. Eighth rank Earth Dragon. She crawled up from the ground, blood dripping out of the corner of her mouth. She looked in shock at the earth dragon, which, despite constantly flapping its wings, was still rapidly descending from the sky. Boom. The earth dragon crashed into the ground, leaving behind a huge crater. Although it had wings, its body was too heavy to fly. Suddenly, it opened its mouth, and a fiery wave of heat attacked the corrupt woman. Chapter 909 Fantasy Blade Storm Translator Born to be the dragon breath released a sea of fire that rapidly spread. The corrupt woman had no time to dodge before being submerged in the flames. Countless miserable screams rang out. The earth dragon's fire breath covered a huge area, and some of the corrupt experts were burned to charcoal. The earth dragon golden blaze was ranked first on the beast flame rankings, and that was the beast flame from a sixth rank earth dragon. Now that it was coming from an eighth rank earth dragon, its power was even more incredible. Even sea expansion experts were unable to block it if they didn't have protective treasure items. And to activate a treasure item to protect oneself required the treasure item to have at least reached the middle grade level. That wasn't something just anyone had. A single wave of dragon breath killed hundreds of corrupt experts. When the dragon breath faded, it revealed the corrupt woman was being enveloped by sword light. She shot toward Men Qi while activating her treasure item's true power. She finally understood Men Qi's power and didn't hold back at all. Her sword grew to a shocking size, and Sword Qi filled the sky. That Sword Qi was mixed with fakes. Some of them weren't true Sword Qi and were only condensed from spiritual strength. However, it was difficult to tell the difference. This was the terror of Soul Martial Dual Cultivation. If you treated the spiritual attack as a physical attack, or the other way around, you would suffer greatly. This woman's position in the corrupt path was extremely high and her soul martial dual cultivation's prowess was shocking. 
Therefore, she had few opponents to compete with. Now she had just joined Zuyu, and so she was planning on using a thunderous blow to defeat Ring her opponents, showing off her power. The corrupt path was different from the righteous path. Their principles were extremely simple. Life was survival of the fittest. The only important thing was power. Experts only needed other experts. They didn't feel that following another person was an insult, as long as that person was strong enough. Even if the strong wanted to enslave them, they could accept that. The corrupt path's principles were that the weak existed only to serve the strong, but subordinates needed to display their value if they wanted to be viewed more importantly and gain more resources. Menki used the soul-suppressing tower to block the physical attacks while personally blocking the spiritual attacks. At the same time, she was also controlling the earth dragon to attack. The corrupt woman was startled and infuriated. She found that with the assistance of the earth dragon, Menki's defense was seamless. Each time she fell into a disadvantageous position, the earth dragon would immediately launch an attack. The earth dragon was extremely strong. Its breath, its wings, and its tail all possessed immense power, enough power to threaten the corrupt woman's life. She suddenly realized that the power she was so proud of and confident in didn't have the slightest effect against Menki. Menki stood on the earth dragon's head, her expression calm. The earth dragon completely made up for her low defense. While Menki and Yu Zifan were fighting, Gu Yang was also battling another rank 4 celestial with a warhammer. Gu Yang's opponent was extremely tall. He was more than 2 meters tall, but his waist was as wide as his height, like a large balloon. Although his appearance was comical, his power was shocking. Each smash of his hammer caused heaven and earth to rumble. Gu Yang fought fiercely against him. Every single one of his muscles and veins bulged, and three colored runes surged behind him. What shocked Zhu Yu and Ji Chang Kong was that Men Qi, Gu Yang, and Yu Zifan were all rank 3 celestials, but could still battle the rank 4 celestials. Their runes were clearly dimmer than usual, showing that their heavenly Dao runes were being suppressed. However, they were still able to fight against rank 4 celestials without falling into a disadvantage. This was an extremely unusual situation. For a rank 3 celestial to become a rank 4 celestial didn't just require opportunity. It required the power of innate spirit blood. Those who could become rank 4 celestials all possessed a trace of spirit blood. However, the rank 4 celestials that had advanced didn't possess very dense spirit blood, which was why they couldn't compare to Zuyu and made the smart decision not to fight him. But even if these rank 4 celestials didn't possess dense spirit blood, in a one against one, they could definitely dominate rank 3 celestials. Originally, they had been thinking of using the most direct most domineering method to defaturing their opponents. But what made them feel awkward was that they were unable to do a thing. While the three intense battles were being fought, thousands of corrupt experts were flooding toward the aboriginals. Feng Jian met them head on. Three innate rank three celestials immediately surrounded him. At this time, the difference was made apparent. Feng Jian was also a rank four celestial, but just fighting against these three was taxing. Normally, a rank 4 celestial would be able to fight against 8 and 8 rank 3 celestials. Stronger ones might even be able to win 10 against 1. But Feng Jian came from poor origins, and his sect was only able to offer him limited resources. His treasure item was only middle grade, and his foundation wasn't even as good as most of the corrupt path's rank 3 celestials. He wasn't qualified to fight against the other rank 4 celestials. It was precisely because Heng Mingkong knew Feng Jian's power that he dared say he would kill him. He had that confidence. Feng Jian had to fight all out in order to maintain a tie against these three corrupt experts. Seeing that, the other corrupt experts ignored him and continued toward Song Mingyuan and Li Qi. The two of them were the final defense before the aboriginals. As long as they got past them, they could undergo a massacre. Great earthen spears Li Qi patted both his hands on the ground, and countless spears shot out of it. But this time, the corrupt experts were prepared. Wings appeared on their backs and they shot into the sky easily dodging the spears that had appeared out of the ground. HMPH. Do you think we're idiots? What? The corrupt expert's disdainful expressions changed. While Li Qi summoned the spears, Song Mingyuan formed hand seals. The ground shook intensely. The spears that had appeared out of the ground shot out like arrows, piercing into their midst. The corrupt experts were horrified. Previously, they had seen these spears grow out of the ground like bamboo. Thus, they thought these spears couldn't leave the ground but now thousands of them were flying through the air. The corrupt experts let out panicked screams. Those who were struck were transformed into earthen statues that crashed to the ground, crumbling. 
The most terrifying aspect of these spears was that they contained extremely strong earth energy. When it invaded a person's body, it would transform them into earth. It was the same move that had once attacked the two of them. However, this time, it was Li Qi and Song Mingyuan controlling the energy. The result was a hundred times better than when the earth spirit beat had been using it. Unlike it, they knew how to attack a person's weak points. However, this kind of large-scale attack was only effective against weaker experts. Several rank 3 celestials waved their hands, activating their treasure items. The spears were blown apart, and they shot back toward the two of them. Earth Spirit Battle Armor Li Qi and Song Mingyuan both formed hand seals. Earth energy erupted, and in front of everyone's shocked gazes, the ground twisted and wrapped around them. They became two earth giants 30 meters tall. Earth pillars appeared in their hands, and they were covered in runes. People could even sense the ground sending endless energy into their bodies. Boom. Their weapons smashed on the ground. The ground shook, and then huge earth swords shot out of it. Each one of them was a mile long. The corrupt expert at the front roared furiously and slashed his treasure item. He shattered the huge earth swords one by one, but the comparatively weaker ones didn't have that ability. When their weapons smashed onto the giant swords, it was like they had struck unbreakable boulders. They vomited blood. Only 30-some rank 3 celestials managed to make it through. They charged at the two earth giants. Song Mingyuan's earth pillar smashed toward one of them. That expert blocked with his full power, but he was blown to bits. Blood filled the air, startling the other experts. They didn't know that this was Song Mingyuan and Li Qi's strongest state. Now that they had summoned the earth spirit battle armor, they were drawing out the limitless energy within the ground. This was the strongest point of earth attribute experts. Their energy was practically limitless. Don't fight them head on. Their bodies are huge. So they have plenty of openings. Split up and attack. Shouted one of the corrupt experts. He was someone who had gone through plenty of battles. And he immediately noticed that while the two of them were powerful in this state. Their movements were clumsier. That was a fatal weakness. The corrupt experts hastily spread out. They noticed that when these two earth giants attacked. Their movements were extremely obvious and easy to predict. Die. One of the corrupt experts slashed his weapon onto Li Qi's head. This was his full strength blow, and he cut a small nick into Li Qi's giant head. That nick instantly healed, not affecting Li Qi at all. Careful, that person was stunned. His companion warned him and he suddenly realized two huge hands were clapping toward him, like a person trying to kill a fly. Boom, that expert was flattened, as thin as a piece of paper. He fell from the giant's hands. Don't fight them head on. Split up. We'll handle this, everyone else. Go kill the aboriginals, shouted one of the rank 3 celestials. They surrounded the two giants. The other corrupt disciple shot toward the aboriginals. Bloodthirsty smiles on their faces. The aboriginals no longer had any guards. Brothers, don't be afraid. Go all out. Kill them one by one. If you kill two, then you'll have earned a profit, shouted Shaofei. He gripped his weapon, prepared to fight to the death. Fantasy Blade Storm. A voice rang out. It was a beautiful sound like the music of nature. A huge storm cloud condensed in the sky and then rapidly grew. Chapter 910 Tang Wanner arrives on the scene translator. Born to be a huge storm cloud appeared in the sky. It was a mile long and comprised of countless wind blades. An ear-piercing sound came from it. The rapidly spinning wind blades cutting apart space. They surged towards the corrupt experts. Everything happened too quickly. That huge storm erupted and wind blades filled the air, instantly covering an area of a hundred miles. The corrupt experts were horrified. There were too many wind blades. They hastily blocked, but the wind blades came in waves that devoured everything. They came from every angle, those with weaker cultivation bases, as well as those who had thought to show off and had charged to the front, met with a terrible end. Hundreds of the corrupt experts were killed despite blocking with their lives on the line. Those who barely managed to survive were covered in blood looking like they had just been cut by a million blades. Everyone hastily looked up to the sky to see a beautiful woman standing there, her robes and hair billowing. She looked like an immortal descending upon the world. Tang Wanner was surrounded by endless wind blades. The void was constantly twisting, making her appear even grander and more heroic. I got here in time. Tang Wanner looked at the battlefield and sighed with relief. As soon as she had received Guo Ran's information, she had rushed over here. There are actually two such beautiful women, and they have two completely different styles. He, looks like my luck with women isn't bad. Seeing Tang Wanner, Zhu Yu was startled and delighted. He was innately lecherous, and Tang Wanner wasn't just a beauty. 
She was a kind of extremely willful and strong beauty. Zhu Yu hadn't seen a beauty like her before. When she appeared, Zhu Yu hesitated about whether he should personally take action to capture her or not. But in the end, he didn't move. The corrupt path was different from the righteous path. They didn't fear battle. To their experts, it was a game of survival where the weak were washed out. The more unfavorable situations you could survive, the more it proved that you were powerful, smart, and lucky. Only such a person was worthy of being groomed. The corrupt path had fewer numbers, but they were elites amongst elites. Each time they fought against the righteous path, they viewed it as a trial. The corrupt path used those trials to pick their disciples. These were the corrupt path's unwritten rules on raising geniuses. This was the only way to guarantee that their resources were used on the right people, avoiding unnecessary waste. Furthermore, there was almost no such thing as possessing a powerful background and getting special treatment. Even the children of peerless experts had to kill their way up from the bottom. Other than some simple care, they wouldn't be doted on. The righteous path was the exact opposite. The resources were only given to their own people. Even if their talent was ordinary, they would pile on the resources, raising them as high as possible. This had created an existence like Feng Jian. Disciples with talent weren't able to obtain many resources. Many sects would rather waste their resources on their families than let outsiders get an advantage. Tang Wan'er's arrival allowed Li Qi and Song Mingyuan to relax. They were well aware that this huge form of theirs wasn't nimble enough. Although it was their strongest battle state, because their forms were too big, it sacrificed agility for absolute power and defense. They weren't confident in being able to protect everyone. Now that Tang Wan'er was here, that worry evaporated. They launched a full-out attack against the corrupt experts. The other corrupt experts had all retreated because of Tang Wan'er's arrival. Wind attribute attacks were too terrifying. They didn't just possess immense destructive power, but their scope was also shocking. If ordinary celestials came over here, they would just be cannon fodder. All remaining rank 3 celestials charge with me. One of the innate rank 3 celestials not fighting Song Mingyuan and Li Qi attacked Tang Wan'er. Following him were dozens of other rank 3 celestials. Tang Wan'er had originally been forming hand seals when she received a spiritual message from Men Qi. She stopped her original hand seals and formed new ones. Following the change in her hand seals, endless wind energy condensed into millions of wind blades around her. The space around her became a cyclone that enveloped her attackers. The corrupt experts didn't dare to be careless. They blocked with their full power, but they were horrified to find that these wind blades were exceedingly powerful. Although when they went all out, they were able to break apart the wind blades. She was able to summon more and more of them. The corrupt experts were unable to approach her. Heavens, are all the people that follow Long Chen like this? How is each of them more terrifying than the last? Xiao Fei was stunned. He was already a rank 3 celestial and had awakened his bloodline power. But what made him speechless was that even if he was free from the heavenly Deus curse, the difference between him and them was immense. Of everyone fighting on their side, it seemed that the sole rank 4 celestial, Feng Jian, was the weakest. That made no sense at all. Men Qi, Gu Yang, Song Mingyuan, Li Qi, and Tang Wan'er were all shockingly powerful. We really were stupid. With our little power, we wanted to save Long Chen? All we did was cause trouble for him, said an expert from the Stone Tribe. They were all ashamed and regretful. They hated themselves for being too stupid and overestimating their own power. If someone like Long Chen really was in danger, would people like them really be able to save him? These aboriginals who had seen Long Chen being miserably hunted had all thrown caution to the wind to increase Long Chen's chances of escaping by just a fraction, but they hadn't expected that their hot-headedness would lead them headfirst into someone's meticulous trap. Now they were even implicating their own tribesmen who were thinking of how to save them. But even in such a dire situation, Long Chen's people were charging into this trap one by one to save them. As for those who followed Feng Jian and worshipped Long Chen, they didn't like this taste. They didn't even have the qualifications to participate in this battle. Looking at Feng Jian who was surrounded by three rank three celestials, they sighed emotionally. You want to launch a sneak attack? Die. While Tang Wan'er was entangled by dozens of corrupt experts, a squad of corrupt experts slipped past her battle, wanting to kill Xiao Fei and the others. As a result, a huge wind blade flew over. On the way, that huge wind blade suddenly exploded into millions of tiny, fingernail-sized wind blades that surged over them. Run. But it was too late. Now that Tang Wan'er had advanced to see expansion, her spiritual yuan was incredibly vast. 
She had obtained an ancient scroll in the immemorial path that recorded extremely profound wind magical arts. Her control of wind energy had reached a new level. Although attacks would be impacted if they were spread too widely, these experts were all ranked two celestials. They weren't able to block these terrifying wind blades. Once the wave of wind blades passed, it was like cherry blossoms were flying through the air. Over 700 corrupt experts had been killed in one shot. Their blood dyed the land red. A bloody but beautiful sight. He, Zuyu, now you've finally tasted the bitter fruit you personally planted. Serves you right. Within the mountain, Ji Chang Kong smiled icily. Ji Chang Kong's original plan had been to capture them one by one. It would have been much easier. But this idiot Zuyu didn't even know how terrifying Long Chen was. Phoenixes didn't fly with sparrows. Dragons didn't swim with loaches. Although Ji Chang Kong hadn't been aware of most of their powers, he was well aware of how terrifying Men Qi was. He had once suffered immensely because of her. For Zhu Yu to want a rank 3 celestial to defaturing Men Qi, he must have been dreaming. Ji Chang Kong had intentionally not said anything. This scene was almost entirely within his expectations. Noveloon.com he wasn't furious. Instead, he was delighted. Unless Zhu Yu personally took action, his subordinates definitely wouldn't be able to handle this. But once he personally took action, it would prove he had run out of other options. His expression definitely had to be like an idiot who had just eaten dog shit. Thinking of that marvelous expression on Zhu Yu's face, Ji Chang Kong felt a burst of invigorating freshness. Tang Wan'er's attack finally caused Zhu Yu's expression to change. He had noticed that Tang Wan'er had actually been hiding her true power. She definitely could rapidly defeaturing her current enemies, but she wasn't doing so. That made him a bit uneasy. A curious feeling rose in his heart. He felt like something bad was about to happen. He was very curious. With his current power, who could possibly threaten him? As time passed, he was growing more and more uneasy. In the end, he finally decided to personally move out to capture Tang Wan'er. Ha ha ha. Suddenly, laughter rang out. A terrifying pressure descended upon Drake Mountain. A group of people had appeared in the sky. Zhu Yu and Ji Chang Kong's expressions changed. More than 10,000 corrupt experts had appeared, and each one of them was releasing their aura. They seemed to want to crush everyone with just that pressure. The person at the front was extremely tall, and every inch of his exposed skin was covered in scars. His face was especially scarred, making it look like his head had been cut into several pieces and then reattached. He had only one eye that looked as if it was made of bronze. It emitted a bloodthirsty light, like a cruel magical beast. Zuyu, I didn't expect you were so useless. You can't even handle these few people? That signifies that there's no longer a use for you. The corrupt path's overlord is me. Kawutu. That scarred man laughed. His voice full of haughtiness and domineeringness. Chapter 911 Explosively Powerful Wild Translator. Born to be Kawutu. Zuyu narrowed his eyes. Kawutu hadn't reserved his aura at all. That berserk energy coming from him made it feel like his body contained a hibernating dragon. There were four powerful rank 4 celestials behind Kawutu. As for rank 3 celestials, they numbered in the hundreds. It was not at all inferior to Zhu Yu's group. The scars on Kawutu's face could not be healed even with heavenly Dao energy. That was because those scars had been left by Len Yuian. Each time she had attacked Kawutu, she had cut him to pieces. However, she hadn't killed him, but the scars she had left behind were for him to remember her by. Previously, Zhu Yu had sneered upon hearing Kawutu's name. He hadn't thought that he possessed the power to challenge him. But now seeing him in the flesh, he was startled. Kawutu's aura was extremely powerful, and he saw black blood flowing under his scarred skin. You've activated your death spirit blood, asked Zhu Yu icily. As soon as Kawutu arrived, he intimidated everyone. His arrival impacted the entire battlefield. Everyone stopped to stare. His powerful aura made it so everyone present felt that they were facing a devil king. It was like a wave of his hand possessed the power to destroy heaven and earth. Men Qi, Tang Wan -er. Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, Yu Zifeng, and Feng Jian stood in front of the aboriginals, their expressions grave. Ka Wutu was too terrifying. If they fought, it would be a true life and death battle. There would definitely be casualties. Ji Chang Kong was also no longer able to remain sitting. He stared closely. He had always thought that Zhu Yu was the strongest expert of the corrupt path, but he wasn't afraid of Zhu Yu. He had his own trump cards. Even if he couldn't defaturing Zhu Yu, he was confident in not being defeated. That was the only reason why he dared to cooperate with him. Although he had heard of Kawutu, he had underestimated him. Now that he saw him, 
he sensed his power was most likely not weaker than theirs. That aura gave people a feeling of boundless pressure. Ha ha ha. If I hadn't awakened my death spirit blood, how could I have dared declare myself ruler? Zuyu, the reason I've brought my people here today isn't to challenge you, but to tell you that the corrupt path is no longer just yours. Kawutu smiled sinisterly at Zuyu, and with his shocking scars, his appearance was truly terrifying. Zuyu clasped his hands behind his back. A display of power? Haha, <laughs> a bit interesting, but I'm used to eating everything alone. I don't like splitting it with anyone, and I also don't like anyone standing at the same height as me. Oh, if that's so, then it's very simple. We can resolve our problems according to the corrupt path's old rules. A fierce light shone in Kawutu's eyes. He was just like a beast in human form. His gaze swept across the battlefield. Suddenly, he saw Menki and Tang Wanur, and his smile grew more sinister. I didn't expect the righteous path to have such beautiful women. I want them. Ka Wutu suddenly shot toward Menki and the others like a cannonball. His speed was shocking. Courting death, Zhu Yu was enraged. He had long since begun viewing Menki and Tang Wanur as his prey. He definitely wouldn't allow anyone to stick their hands on them. He flashed into motion. Also charging toward Menki and Tang Wanur, he wanted to capture them before Ka Wutu got there. Ka Wutu and Zhu Yu were both attacking at the same time. Their powerful aura shook the world. Menki and the others' expressions changed. Although the two of them were also rank 4 celestials, their power was several times that of ordinary rank 4 celestials. The difference in combat power was immense. Great earth and walls. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan both shouted, slamming the ground with their palms. Their earth energy circulated and a huge wall dozens of miles thick appeared. It was covered in runes and filled with the aura of the earth. HMPH, an insignificant skill. Kawutu snorted and raised his palm, crushing the huge wall in one attack. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan received a backlash. If their feet weren't planted on the ground, they would have coughed up blood. Men Qi's soul-suppressing tower flew out, and the earth dragon released its breath. At the same time, Yu Zifeng and Gu Yang each launched a full power attack. They were no longer stalling for time and had to go all out. A huge wind blade appeared in Tang Wanur's hand. A mantis trying to stop a cart. Ka Wutu sneered and sent out a palm. It was unknown what magical art he was using. But his huge palm image possessed such immense power that all six of them were blown back. As for Feng Jian, he vomited blood. If Li Qi hadn't formed an earth shield around him at that critical moment, he might have lost his life. Oh, you have some ability. Interesting but all your struggles are useless. So sorry Zuyu, this prey is mine. Kawutu had moved before Zuyu. Although he had been forced to go through two blockades, he was still ahead of Zuyu. Spirit blood locks the universe. Kawutu suddenly shouted, and blood key suddenly soared into the sky. Gu Yang and the others suddenly found that they were unable to move. It was like they were bound with countless invisible chains. They weren't aware that when Kawutu had advanced to become a rank 4 celestial, he had also awakened his innate bloodline. His spirit blood was extremely dense, and he was able to release an inherited secret art. Caught off guard, Menki and the others couldn't possibly defend. Space was locked around them. Although it was at most only able to last for half a breath's time, that was enough to determine life and death. Come over here you two beauties, laughed Kawutu. Seeing Kawutu release his bloodline power, Zuyu was startled. He was just about to form hand seals but suddenly stopped. Scram. A furious row rang out, shaking the world. Even Kawutu's ears were ringing. A bone club smashed down from the sky. It came without any warning, and there wasn't the slightest bit of aura released with it. This attack came too suddenly. Before Kawutu could react, this club smashed into his shoulder. Cracking sounds rang out, and Kawutu shot back like a shooting star. The ground was like a lake that had been struck by a meteorite. Earthen waves erupted, and a hole was blown into the ground. Everyone was horrified. That was Kawutu. Just who could smash him into the ground? Only now did everyone get a chance to see who had attacked. They saw a huge muscular man standing in front of them. Wild. Menki and the others were delighted. In this world, perhaps only Wild's natural height was so tall. Wild was even more muscular than before. His arms were thicker than a person's waist. His body seemed like a volcano that had been slumbering for 10,000 years. He was full of explosive energy. I swept through the four seas, crossed a thousand mountains, heaven and earth ripple because of me. I slaughter demons, kill devils, pluck the stars and moon. A bout of fury from Guo Ran causes heaven and earth to flip, just as Wild appeared in the most domineering, bold manner. 
A rhythmic chant rang out from the sky over the battlefield. Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, Gu Yang, and the others' expressions stiffened. They speechlessly rolled their eyes. Even at this time, this brat didn't forget to be a poser. They had never seen someone so dedicated to their craft. They knew Guo Ran's character, but the others didn't. They looked up at the sky with shock. Even Ka Wu Tu looked up. He wanted to see just who was such a poser. What he saw was Guo Ran standing in the sky, glowing with health and looking down on these countless experts. It was truly the posture of a supreme expert, but that smile on his face sold out his wretched inner heart, gravely harming his image. Who are you? shouted Ka Wu Tu. He was somewhat intimidated. Guo Ran's aura was extremely weak. He seemed to be no more than an ordinary rank 3 celestial. No, even ordinary celestials couldn't be this weak. But his experience told him that Guo Ran was truly a rank 3 celestial. It was precisely because his aura was so weak that his guard was raised. He thought that Guo Ran was extremely sinister and disguising himself as a pig to eat the tiger. After all, Wild's attack just now had shocked everyone. This fellow seemed to be Wild's companion, and he was extremely flashy. Everyone was wondering about his true status. Are you all idiots? Or am I just so hard to understand? Why is it every time I report my name, people ask me what my name is? Have you ever read a book? You can't even hear the name in the poem? Are your ears useless? Guo Ran pointed at Ka Wu Tu and cursed. He really was angry. Each time he used this flashy method to appear, people would always ask the same question. Who are you? That was a slap in his face. He felt like his flashy entrance and poem had been an act for deaf and blind people. Furthermore, with such a huge stage with so many experts watching, Guo Ran's greatest wish was for them to suddenly change their expressions upon hearing his grand name. It would be best if his name alone was able to intimidate them all. But these hopes had been extinguished by a single word from Ka Wu Tu. Guo Ran was so infuriated that he had an urge to spank Ka Wu Tu but he still maintained some rationality because he was unable to beat him. Everyone was startled by Guo Ran's fury. They were intimidated because Guo Ran's fury really wasn't faked. Guo Ran took a deep breath. Stand steady. My grand name is one that shakes the land and is spread throughout the five regions. The grand, the renowned, the mighty Guo Ran, nameless pawn. You dare to trick us? Courting death. How could Ka Wu Tu have heard Guo Ran's name before? He was infuriated, and he shot toward Guo Ran. He wanted to personally tear him apart. Wild. Smash this idiot. Guo Ran didn't even look at Ka Wu Tu. He directly had Wild attack. I'll smash you. Wild was extremely obedient. Carrying his bone club. He charged toward Ka Wu Tu. Chapter 912 Collision of Explosive Power Translator. Born to be Wild met Ka Wu Tu halfway. His club once more smashed toward him. This time. Everyone saw it clearly. Wild's attack didn't release any aura nor were there any spiritual yuan fluctuations. This wasn't a magical art or battle skill. It was a simple, ordinary smash of his club. This attack contained purely brute force. It was no wonder no one had sensed anything when Wild had attacked. Even Ka Wu Tu hadn't sensed it. Die, you brood. Black blood key twisted around Ka Wu Tu's arm. It was like hundreds of black vipers. Ka Wu Tu had activated the power of his spirit blood. He could tell that Wild was a brute force fighter. To defeat Ring him. The best way was to use power to defeat Ring power. So he immediately used the power of his spirit blood, which released a powerful pressure that caused heaven and earth to rumble. The boulders on the ground shattered from the power. This was a forbidden kind of power. Everyone was shocked. Was this the power of a peak rank 4 celestial? Zhu Yu and Ji Chang Kong's expressions changed, and the other rank 4 celestials gave up any hopes of challenging him. This power wasn't something they could handle. So they gave up any thoughts of fighting any of the peak experts. If they had to blame something for this, it would be their bloodlines. By their generation, their spirit blood was too thin, making them unable to compare to someone like Ka Wu Tu. This was the terror of spirit blood. Careful wild, shouted Men Ki, her expression changing. Ka Wu Tu's power was completely beyond her expectations. Boom. Wild's bone club collided with Ka Wu Tu's fist. Surprisingly, wild grunted and flew back. Smashing into the ground. Wild. Tang Waner and the others cried. Don't be afraid. Boss said that Wild's current combat power isn't any weaker than his own. Don't worry about it. Said Guo Ran. Long Chen had told him that in critical times. Wild was the most dependable warrior out of them all. When he wasn't present. Wild would definitely be number one. A furious roar shook the land. A tyrannical pressure descended upon the world. Like an ancient beast had finally awoken. A bronze giant flew out of the ground. 
the ground beneath him once more collapsed. The entire world was quivering because of his existence. What is that? Is that a monster? How is this possible? Seeing the 30 meter wild who seemed like a god, all the righteous and corrupt experts were stunned, let alone them. Even Menki and the others were startled. They had never seen wild enter such a state. Others could summon some kind of energy to reach a height of 300 meters. 30 meters wasn't anything compared to that. But those people were like Song Mingyuan and Li Qi who summoned their earth spirit battle armors. For Wild's true body to explosively grow to such a size was too shocking. Die. Wild's roar shook the heavens. His bone club had grown with him, becoming a huge bone pillar. When he smashed his club down, even space would crumble. Kawutu was startled. He was a ruthless character, but seeing the giant, furious Wild, his heart quivered. Kawutu once more met his club with his fist. This time, he had increased his power, but he was horrified to have an unblockable force send him flying. He vomited blood, feeling a burst of pain in his arm. His upper robes blew apart. Impossible. Kawutu has already activated the power of his spirit blood. Just who is this monster? Everyone stared at the giant wild with shock. They felt goosebumps. Just what kind of existence was Long Chen for all the people beside him to be such monsters? Feng Jian had already retreated from the battlefield. As the battle was growing in intensity, he was helpless to find that he had gradually fallen into the ranks of those who needed to be protected. Although he felt powerless, he was smart. If he went out, he would only hold the others back. Although coming here was a bit impulsive and lacking forethought, he didn't regret it. He originated from a poor family. He was poor to the point that the only thing remaining was his pride. To have fought beside such powerful experts, to be viewed as a brother by them, it would be worth it even if he lost his life. Feng Jian fell back amidst the aboriginals. His current mission was just to protect them. Just like them, he looked up at the sky. The giant wild was still floating in the air, and Feng Jian felt a feeling of worship looking at him. In this era, strength possessed the greatest charisma, death spirit energy. Ka Wutu roared and Black Ki began to revolve around his body. The image of a fiend's face appeared on his forehead, and with the Black Ki circulating around him, he seemed like a devil that had crawled up from hell. Kawutu was furious. This was his first battle since becoming a rank 4 celestial, but he had actually encountered a freak like Wild. Wild couldn't even count as a cultivator. Kawutu's heavenly Deo energy had no suppressive effect against him. Feeling helpless, he could only release his full power. A blood stained sickle appeared in his hand, releasing a bloody desire to slaughter. Giant fool, time for you to die, little brat. You're the one who's going to die. Kawutu and Wild both roared and attacked. Kawutu was infuriated, while Wild was also easily angered once he had summoned the barbarian blood bronze body. Their weapons once more collided, causing the world to shake. Although they were fighting in the air, each exchange would cause the ground beneath them to sink. The experts watching on the ground all felt their blood surging within them. Each impact made it feel like their innards were flipping. They were filled with horror. This power had already escaped the scope of their understanding, and they could only watch. Wild and Kawutu were fighting intensely in the sky, neither side able to get an advantage. They were both brute power experts, so their exchanges were simple and direct. There weren't any flowery moves. As Zhu Yu watched their fight, he realized that his feeling of unease was growing. The arrival of Kawutu and Wild made him lose his sense of absolute control. Suddenly, Zhu Yu took advantage of everyone's attention being drawn to Wild and Kawutu to charge toward Menki and Tang Wan Er. He was incredibly fast. I knew you weren't a good fucker. Trash. Although Guo Ran liked to show off normally, at important times, he was prudent. Having heard from Long Chen about Wild's combat power, he hadn't been worried about Kawutu, so his attention had been on Zhu Yu the entire time. As soon as Guo Ran saw Zhu Yu's gaze roving, he knew what he was thinking. He took out a huge golden crossbow. It was his greatest masterpiece, an upgraded version of his Void Breaker crossbow. As his power increased, his forging arts became more refined. A golden arrow even thicker than his arm silently shot out and struck Zhu Yu midway. Its attack power was shocking. Zhu Yu had clearly not expected Guo Ran to easily see through his thoughts. Furthermore, this attack came out of nowhere, and the timing and angle had practically reached the pinnacle of perfection. Zhu Yu snorted and slashed with his black sword. Boom. Guo Ran's golden arrow exploded, but the explosive power was great, even shaking the void. Zhu Yu was blown back hundreds of meters away. Zhu Yu's expression involuntarily changed. The instant he had slashed the golden arrow, it had automatically exploded. 
If he hadn't activated his heavenly Deo energy to form a shield in time, then he would have been injured. At the very least, he would have been covered in dust. This move was too evil. He, idiot, how's the taste of my exploding arrows? Guo Ran rested his huge crossbow on his shoulder, smiling coldly. But in reality, Guo Ran's heart sank. Zhu Yu's power far surpassed his expectations. This exploding arrow of his could easily shatter mountains, and for an ordinary rank 4 celestial, they would at least be heavily injured upon being struck. Zhu Yu hadn't known about the arrow's trickery, and he had simply let out a random slash. He hadn't had any defense at that time, but he still wasn't injured. Furthermore, his arrows were best suited for sneak attacks, especially the first sneak attack. Now that he had exposed his explosive arrows, even if Zhu Yu couldn't dodge them, he would be on guard. The chances of him using the explosive arrows to kill any true experts were now exceedingly low, but then he would be unwilling to use them against small fry. So this exchange could count as his loss. Monstrous. Absolutely monstrous. This kind of reaction speed is ridiculous. In this world, perhaps only a supreme monster amongst monsters can suppress a fellow like Zhu Yu. Guo Ran was now completely convinced. When he heard that Long Chen had suppressed Zhu Yu, managing to cut off his leg and his head, he had thought that Zhu Yu wasn't that strong. Now he realized he was wrong. Brothers, attack together, kill Zhu Yu, shouted Guo Ran. He took out a large cylinder. Chapter 913 The Storm's Fury Translator Born to be Guo Ran took out a cylinder several feet thick and six meters long. He pointed it at Zhu Yu. The cylinder's runes lit up, and whistling noise filled the area. Countless foot-long needles pierced through the air, possessing shocking power. The air revolved around them as if space was being pierced through. Guo Ran shot out millions of needles in an instant, completely submerging Zhu Yu. Even Zhu Yu didn't dare look down upon the needles. He slashed down with his sword, and as a result, explosions rocked the air. Each needle possessed the same effect as an explosive arrow, and now that millions of explosions enveloped him, although they might not be able to injure Zhu Yu, they could at least cause him some trouble. After the wave of needles exploded, a huge tower suddenly appeared above Zhu Yu and smashed down upon him. Menki no longer needed to hold back and bolstered the huge tower to 300 meters tall. HMPH, Zhu Yu snorted, and black light erupted from his sword. He slashed at the soul-suppressing tower, but he was startled to find that the soul-suppressing tower was even stronger than what he had expected. He was actually blown back. Menki and the soul suppressing tower were naturally suited to each other, and with her vast soul energy, she was able to allow the soul suppressing tower to release its greatest power. Suddenly, Tang Wanner's wind blades, Gu Yang's spear, and Yu Zifeng's sword arrived. Boom! Zhu Yu once more slashed his sword, shattering all of their attacks, but he was once more blown back. He was startled and infuriated, not able to understand why these rank 3 celestials were so strong. Corrupt pupil gaze. Zhu Yu's third eye suddenly released a ray of light toward Gu Yang. Gu Yang felt as if a devil was staring at him. He was unable to move and could only watch as the ray of light shot toward him. A feeling of death washed over him. He didn't know what this light was, but he was sure that if he was struck, he would definitely die. However, he couldn't dodge. Soul suppressing light. Men Qi formed hand seals, hastily urging the soul suppressing tower to block. At this moment, the soul-suppressing tower's runes condensed at the top of the tower. It also shot out a ray of light. The two rays collided, and terrifying soul energy covered the battlefield. Those with weaker spiritual strengths felt like needles were stabbing into their heads. Big Sister. Tang Wanner saw that Men Qi's face was extremely pale now. A trace of blood was dripping from the corner of her mouth. She had clearly suffered from that exchange. To be able to block my attack with soul energy, your spiritual strength is very strong. Good. You're definitely a must-have. Zhu Yu's eyes lit up. Tang Wanner was enraged, instantly summoning two wind blades in her hands. Endless runes danced around them as she shot toward Zhu Yu. Men Qi's injury caused Tang Wanner immense pain. Men Qi had always looked after her kindly. Although she was a bit petty, Men Qi had always conceded to her. Now seeing her injured, and for Zhu Yu to say such brazen words, Tang Wanner no longer bothered with Men Qi's warning. She didn't care about stalling right now. She wanted to kill Zhu Yu. Storm's fury. Two wings suddenly appeared on Tang Wanner's back. They were 30 meters long and different from other people's wings. The world became silent for an instant. It was like the world's wind energy had all been sucked dry by Tang Wanner. The runes circulating around her wind blade suddenly exploded in speed. Because they were so fast, it was no longer possible to see them. Die. 
Tang Wan'er slashed her wind blades toward Zhu Yu. As they slashed through space, the void was cleanly cut. Zhu Yu was appalled. He had never seen such a terrifying wind cultivator who chose to fight at close range. Moreover, the two wind blades released a pressure that was greater than high-grade treasure items. He slashed his sword, but he felt an irresistible power send him flying. Storm Apocalypse. Everyone's jaws dropped upon seeing this scene, but the greater shock came later. With her hair dancing in the air, Tang Wan'er merged the two wind blades, forming a sphere. Within the storm sphere, there were four large wind blades circulating. A painful whistling sound came from it, one that sounded like blades being scraped. The storm sphere left her hands and shot toward Zhu Yu. It rapidly grew larger, until it was a mile wide when it reached Zhu Yu on the ground. Zhu Yu was directly enveloped by the storm sphere. This attack was so quick that it came before he could recover from her previous attack. The storm sphere didn't immediately explode upon striking the ground. It continued to revolve chaotically. The earth blew apart, and it was deep in the ground when it suddenly exploded. An earthquake erupted. The experts standing on the ground suddenly felt a shockwave pass through them. Many of them weren't able to endure it and coughed up blood. The ground exploded and a figure soared out. Zhu Yu's hair was in disarray, and he was covered in quite a bit of dust. But his gaze was even more excited. Looking at Tang Wan'er, he wasn't the slightest bit angry. He was even delighted. Ha ha ha. My luck really isn't bad. I want you both. If you don't want to listen, then once I refine you into puppets, you'll definitely be peak grade. Laughed Zhu Yu. A huge illusory figure appeared behind Zhu Yu. Blood red runes circulated as he activated his blood devil possession. Tang Wan'er and Men Qi's power had exceeded his expectations. If he captured them, then the corrupt path had countless ways to make them submit. Thinking of how he could obtain two peerless beauties who would also be powerful helpers, he was full of anticipation. Die. Tang Wan'er's fury didn't lessen at all. She once more condensed wind blades and attacked Zhu Yu. Boom. Zhu Yu stood in his original location, while Tang Wan'er was forced back Novaloon.com beauty. Be careful. I'm going to get serious. Zhu Yu suddenly appeared in the air, summoning countless afterimages behind him. His speed had increased. One sword hunts the soul. Yu Zifeng's flying rainbow came slashing toward him. This was his strongest attack, and his killing intent caused the void to shake. Boom. Zhu Yu had no choice but to block, and as a result, both sides were knocked back. But Zhu Yu was only knocked back three meters, while Yu Zifeng was sent flying. Dragon pierces out of the sea. Yu Zifeng's attack had just ended when Gu Yang's spear shot forward. At the same time, an arrow came from a crafty angle. Zhu Yu blocked Gu Yang's spear with his sword, while his other hand smashed apart Gu Ran's arrow. As expected, it was another explosive arrow that blew apart his sleeve. He had just blocked those two attacks when Men Qi's soul suppressing tower once more descended, smashing into him. Zhu Yu was entangled by their attacks. The five of them were all shocking experts on their own. When they worked together and stopped holding back, even Zhu Yu was temporarily unable to do anything to them. Lord Zhu Yu is being held back. What are we supposed to do? The corrupt experts felt like they were dreaming. Don't just stand there. Kill those useless people, roared Zhu Yu as he dodged Guo Ran's silent sneak attacks. Only then did his remaining experts react. Under the lead of the three rank four celestials, they charged toward the aboriginals. Brother Mingguan, Brother Li Qi, the defense will be left to you, shouted Guo Ran. The current battle was being fought in the sky, and the two of them couldn't leave the ground to fight or their power would be greatly reduced. If they did join in to fight against Zhu Yu, well, their attacks were too direct and massive. They weren't suited for this high-speed battle, so they wouldn't be able to work together with them very well. In fact, they might end up breaking their rhythm. Not only were Zhu Yu's experts moving, but even Ka Wutu's experts were charging over now, led by four rank four celestials. HMPH, we'll show you what absolute defense is. Song Mingguan and Li Qi were still in their earth giant forms. They slammed the ground with their hands, and the earth wrapped up the aboriginals, forming layers and layers eventually turning into a huge dome. The seven rank four celestials from the corrupt path sneered. They slashed their weapons down and were startled to find that this dome was incredibly sturdy. They were unable to break it. Even if they could cause some damage to one layer, it would instantly recover. The seven of them continuously attacked, but they were unable to break the dome. They were dumbfounded. When it came to combat power, perhaps Li Qi and Song Mingguan hadn't reached a high enough level. But when it came to defensive power, then while they were standing on the ground, they possessed practically limitless power. As long as no one could break the dome in one strike, 
their Earth energy would come in an unending stream. That was the most monstrous aspect of Earth attribute cultivators. While on the ground, they were practically undefeatable in the same realm. Ji Chang Kong, are you just going to watch? Seeing that they were unable to do anything, Zhu Yu finally opened his mouth. Chapter 914 I look favorably upon you translator. Born to be Ji Chang Kong, are you just going to watch? Shouted Zhu Yu. He was surrounded by them and was unable to do anything to them. Men Qi and the others were too strong, especially Tang Wan Er. She was like a fierce tiger. Her attacks were extremely sharp, and she posed the greatest threat to him. A stone door opened on the mountain. Ji Chang Kong walked out, indifferently saying, I don't need you, Zhu Yu, to tell me what to do. Don't forget our positions. After all, Ji Chang Kong was part of the righteous path. Even if he were to take action, he had to clearly state his position. He didn't want to leave behind evidence after killing them all. Zhu Yu sneered disdainfully. The thing the corrupt path despised the most about the righteous path was their need to act sanctimonious while really being corrupt. It was the typical case of being a prostitute but wanting a memorial tablet erected for them. It was shameless to the pinnacle. However, Zhu Yu didn't bother exposing him. In any case, the evidence was in his hands. Whether or not he could kill Ji Chang Kong, in the end, Zhu Yu would use the fact that Ji Chang Kong had colluded with him to frame Long Chen and viciously humiliate the idiots of the righteous path. Long Chen has colluded with the aboriginals to harm the righteous path. His vicious means have made him guilty of reprehensible crimes. Despite your association with him, if you put down your arms now, we can spare your lives. Otherwise, don't blame me for getting vengeance for my fallen comrades and cleaning up the righteous path by killing you, shouted Ji Chang Kong. Gu Yang and the others were so infuriated that they felt like their lungs would explode. This bastard was truly too dangerous. He was clearly colluding with the corrupt path, but he still gave such pompous reasoning. Fuck your mother, Ji Chang Kong, you shameless trash. You better get ready to have my boss beat the shit out of you for this, roared Guo Ran. Frame, Guo Ran, you're just one of Long Chen's jackals. You've lost the face of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. I can testify that Long Chen is a liar through and through. He caused the deaths of many of the Dao sect's disciples. Xiao Wuji suddenly appeared. Yu Kai was standing by his side. Now two of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's heavenly geniuses were correlating the story that Long Chen had colluded with the aboriginals. At the same time, quite a few of the other disciples of the Zhuanshan Dao sect also appeared, joining in. Long Chen is the scum of the Zhuanshan Dao sect for some selfishness. He harmed his own sect. He's not just the scum of the Zhuanshan Dao sect but the scum of the entire righteous path. Such a person cannot be allowed to exist any longer in the righteous path. All of you on Long Chen's side are going all out to protect aboriginals. That proves everything. Are you stupid? Brother Ji Chang Kong, please clean up the righteous path and kill these traitors. Clean up the righteous path and kill these traitors. Condemnation rang out in waves. The righteous experts following Ji Chang Kong were experts at shouting. This was the best time for them to form relationships with Ji Chang Kong. So they went all out shouting, afraid their voices would be quieter than others. They shouted so hard that they turned red in the face. It was like Long Chen had caused the deaths of their mothers. A group of idiots. Guo Ran was so infuriated that his hair stood on end. He really had an urge to kill these idiots who clearly knew the truth but decided to go along with it anyway. Ignoring their consciences, they blindly spouted whatever anyone wanted. Seeing the excellent morale his side had. Seeing the countless fervent gazes looking at him. Ji Chang Kong felt like he had become the people's hero. His wings flapped and he flew over to a large dome on the battlefield. That was where Song Mingguan and Li Qi had laid down their absolute defense. Seven rank four celestials were actually helpless against this defense. It had become a battle of attrition, but since the two of them were supported by the Earth's energy, they were able to remain undefeated. Useless fools. Scram. Don't say I didn't warn you once you die. Ji Chang Kong had an urge to kill all of them together accidentally, but he resisted that urge in the end. If he really did that, then both Zhu Yu and Ka Wutu would immediately turn on him, and the situation would become chaotic. Because he couldn't expose that he was colluding with the corrupt path and he also couldn't kill these people. His best option was to use a disdainful tone to get them to scram. An ancient immortal character lit up on Ji Chang Kong's forehead. That was his ancestral mark. It was different from ordinary ancestral marks. As golden lines were flowing within it, it was the extremely rare spastime energy. Ji Chang Kong's family possessed a long history, and terrifying experts had appeared amongst his ancestors. Although those experts had already died, 
They had used secret arts to leave behind a portion of their soul essence right before they died, leaving it to their family. When outstanding disciples appeared, they could receive the ancestor's spiritual blessing. This blessing had not only increased the purity of Ji Chang Kong's spirit blood, but it also allowed his combat power to increase by a shocking amount once his spirit blood awakened. Break. Ji Chang Kong smashed his fist onto Song Mingyuan and Li Qi's earthen dome. When his fist met the dome, golden runes covered his fist. Boom. Everyone was startled to see that the absolute defense that seven rank four celestials had been powerless against was instantly broken by a single punch from Ji Chang Kong. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan vomited blood, and it also contained some broken pieces of their innards. In fact, even their bodies were covered with cracks. They were just one step away from being blown apart. Ji Chang Kong's attack looked ordinary, but he had actually used an extremely powerful magical art. His control over that magical art had reached the pinnacle, which was why its aura was condensed and didn't leak out. The two of them were almost killed by this blow. They took on 80% of its power, but the other aboriginals with weaker cultivation bases fainted, blood pouring out from their orifices. Only experts on the level of Feng Jian, Shi Kang, and Xiao Fei had been able to resist it without being injured, but they felt a ringing in their heads. Traitors from the Righteous Path, you've colluded with the sinister aboriginals to harm the Righteous Path, and you refuse to stop time and time again. Don't blame me for taking the place of the heavens to eliminate you, shouted Ji Chang Kong righteously. His palm smashed toward them. This attack was no weaker than his previous one. In fact, it might even be stronger based on the rumbling it caused. Guo Ran had no choice but to stop assisting Tang Wan'er and the others. Three huge arrows shot out, coming toward Ji Chang Kong at different angles. And, Guo Ran was alarmed to see Ji Chang Kong smile. His right palm was still attacking, but his left hand had formed a seal. A runic shield appeared around him. He was actually able to activate a magical art with just one hand. It had to be known that almost all magical arts required two-handed seals. Ji Chang Kong most likely specialized in magical arts and had studied them all the way to their roots. This was actually one of Ji Chang Kong's top moves. This way, he could attack and defend at the same time. Guo Ran's arrows had been timed and angled perfectly. Thus, no matter how he tried to dodge, he would be struck by one. This way, he didn't have two. Guo Ran's three arrows struck the shield and directly rebounded. Three explosions rang out, because the surrounding experts were too concentrated. Two of the arrows landed amongst the corrupt experts, while one landed amongst the righteous experts. They had all been watching to see how Song Mingyuan, Li Qi, and the others would be killed by Ji Chang Kong. When those arrows rebounded toward them, they instinctively took out their weapons to block, but their endings were tragic. Three huge explosions caused miserable screams. Not everyone was as powerful as Zhu Yu. The explosion of these arrows blew apart any experts within several miles of the epicenter. Even rank 3 celestials didn't manage to escape. Everyone was startled. Originally, Guo Ran's arrows hadn't caused much effect against Zhu Yu, so they hadn't expected them to be so powerful. Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, seeing that they were unable to stop Ji Chang Kong, they panicked. They went all out attacking Zhu Yu, hoping to force him back so they could assist them. Are you looking down on me? Corrupt pupil gaze. Heaven and earth revolves. Zhu Yu laughed and a strange fluctuation came from his third eye. They felt space become twisted and lost their sense of direction. It was like the world was constantly spinning around them. They were startled. This didn't seem to be an illusion. They were unable to describe it with words, and now they were unable to make any effective attacks. They were forced to switch to defense. They knew this kind of misperception would only be temporary. As long as they endured it, this move would run its course. But Zhu Yu's goal had been achieved. He wasn't in a hurry to kill them. He just stalled them, allowing Ji Chang Kong to kill Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and all the others. Righteous Paths Traitors. Time for you to meet your fate. Ji Chang Kong waved his hand, and a terrifying astral wind filled the air. Li Qi and all the others were within the scope of this attack. They found it hard to breathe, and they also couldn't move. They could only watch as death approached. You dare to call my brothers. Traitors? I look favorably upon you. A voice rang out across the battlefield, shaking people's ears and hearts. Chapter 915 One Point One Slap in the Face Translator Born to be following the arrival of that voice, a huge figure appeared in the sky, one that hid the sun. It was Menki's houseboat, the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix. There was a black-robed man standing atop its head. His eyes sparkled like two stars, possessing an unspeakable charm. Long Chen 
boss. Tang Wan'er and the others were delighted. Not even the slightest fluctuations could be sensed from Long Chen's body. He seemed like an ordinary mortal. But everyone knew this was a sign he had controlled his power to the pinnacle, preventing even the slightest bit of his aura from leaking. Long Chen suddenly pointed his finger. A violet lightning arrow shot toward Ji Chang Kong. Long Chen, are you looking down on me? Ji Chang Kong sneered. His runic shield once more appeared, and its power was now double what it had been before. In front of everyone's stupefied gazes, that powerful runic shield instantly exploded upon being struck by the lightning arrow. The lightning arrow didn't pause at all. What? Ji Chang Kong was shocked. He gave up on attacking Li Qi and the others, sending his palm toward the arrow instead. Seeing that Ji Chang Kong was able to change the direction of his attack so easily, everyone was startled. It had to be known that in order to change the direction of an attack that was already about to be released, it would require that the body contain at least twice the amount of energy it had. In other words, that terrifying attack wasn't even close to Ji Chang Kong's full power. Space exploded as Ji Chang Kong's palm blew apart the lightning arrow, but he was deeply shaken, because his arm was numb now. Berserk Thunder Force had invaded his arm, and he hastily circulated his spiritual yuan to suppress it. Lightning runes exploded and faded, looking like beautiful fireworks. Once the fireworks were over, a figure with a raised hand appeared in front of Ji Chang Kong. That hand moved in a beautiful and graceful arc it was dazzling and contained an incomparably profound rhythm. That movement was so beautiful that a person couldn't bear to interrupt it. Just as they were intoxicated by it, Long Chen's slap viciously struck Ji Chang Kong's face. That resounding sound could practically shake heaven and earth. A sound that could shock the heavens out of the sky and into the underworld. Ji Chang Kong smashed into the ground, and a huge wave of earth spread. With a single slap, Long Chen had sent a peak expert flying. Even Zhu Yu's expression changed slightly. Instead of continuing to fight, he slowly retreated. He was completely focused on Long Chen, and his energy circulated as he prepared to release his greatest power. On the other side, Wild wasn't paying attention. In his barbarian blood bronze body, he had a crazy feeling, and he ignored anything happening in the outside world. His club continued to smash at Kawutu. Kawutu went all out, knocking Wild back. Just as Wild was about to attack again, Guo Ran held him back. Now that Long Chen had arrived. They had to move in accordance with Long Chen's plans. Wild stopped and his body instantly shrank. His face was a bit pale, and he quickly took out a huge leg of a magical beast and began crazily eating. As soon as Long Chen arrived, all the battles stopped. Long Chen didn't even look at his enemies. He walked over to Li Qi and Song Mingyuan, patting them on the shoulder. He said, Good work. It's a good thing you came when you did. Li Qi wiped off his sweat. Ji Chang Kong was just too strong for them. Big brother Long Chen. Sorry, said Xiao Fei. Long Chen gave Xiao Fei a fierce embrace. He patted him on the shoulder. Now you're a man. Don't just randomly apologize to others, or you'll get in the habit of lacking confidence. People will sometimes get hot headed and do some foolish things, but only those who dare to do foolish things are real men. If you're always over cautious and scheme all your actions, you'll eventually lose yourself, and you'll find your cultivation path limited by your own doing. There are no absolute rights or wrongs in this world. However, a hot-blooded man can't be lacking that hot-bloodedness, or they would have lived for nothing. Just these few words from Long Chen made Xiao Fei feel incomparably grateful. Rather than blaming him, he approved of his actions. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, this junior is Feng Jian from Feng Jian finally had a chance to meet this legendary figure. Seeing him send the insufferably arrogant Ji Chang Kong flying with the point of his finger and a slap in his face. His worship of him rose even greater. I don't care where you came from. As long as you can stand beside me during such a time, it proves you're a hot-blooded man. Such people are all my brothers. Long Chen cupped his fists toward Feng Jian and the others who had come to assist the aboriginals for him. Although their power was low, that just made him even more grateful. They had essentially sacrificed their lives to come to help him. So he wasn't forcing himself when he called them brothers. If someone could sacrifice their lives for him, then he could do the same for them. Hearing him call them brother, these people all felt their blood burning hotter. They had been ashamed before this, as instead of helping, they had essentially held them back, forcing Li Qi and Song Mingyuan to risk their lives to protect them. But this demeanor, this heroism, was something that hadn't disappointed them. Such a person was worthy of them following into death. Boom. Suddenly, a figure flew out of the ground, startling people. How was it that he only appeared after this long? 
Just how deeply had he been blown underground by Long Chen? Long Chen. Ji Chang Kong's furious roar shook the heavens. His aura erupted to a new level. Wasn't it just a slap in the face? Is it worth getting so riled up for? Look at big boy Zuyu. His head was cut off. His leg was cut off. But he's not making a sound. Don't be so petty, said Guo Ran contemptuously. Men Qi, Gu Yang, and the others had all gathered with Long Chen. From three sides, Ji Chang Kong, Zhu Yu, and Ka Wu Tu's armies surrounded them. As expected, Zhu Yu's killing intent erupted upon hearing Guo Ran's words, mentioning that was like picking off his scab. It might even be more infuriating than being slapped in the face. But Zhu Yu was shrewd and didn't say anything. Long Chen's side was too powerful. Just now, he had caused Ji Chang Kong to suffer with just a wave of his hand. And while he was confident in his power, he knew he couldn't handle Long Chen, Wild, and all the others by himself. Since that was the case, it was best to gather everyone's power to first kill him before saying anything else. They couldn't start fighting amongst themselves and allow Long Chen to flee. So although Guo Ran's words were extremely insulting, he kept his expression flat. He kept his focus on Long Chen, guarding against his escape. You are Long Chen? He, your life is mine. Ka Wu Tu stared at Long Chen, licking his dry lips. His tongue was actually the size of an ox tongue, and he appeared extremely sinister. Long Chen glanced at him, looking at your idiotic appearance. I suppose you must be that Ka Tulu fellow. It's Ka Wu Tu, he roared. Ah, that's about the same. No need to be so serious. Len Yuian told me that you're a good cutting board. I wonder how many times I can cut you with my saber, sneered Long Chen. After saying that, he ignored the fuming Ka Wu Tu. To the righteous expert standing behind Ji Chang Kong, he said, I, Long Chen, am not a kind-hearted man. Let me give you some advice. It'll be my last time advising you. So listen properly. Those who want to frame me, I can't be bothered to even care. I don't care if you're doing it to suck up or to protect yourself. Your brainlessness is loathsome, but it hasn't touched my bottom line. Remember, you can spout whatever nonsense you want but don't use the weapons in your hands to provoke me, or you'll become my enemies, and I don't have mercy on my enemies, everyone, don't fall for Long Chen's scheme, he's trying to split us up, it was unexpected that the first person to speak up was the Zhuanshan Dao sect Xiao Wuji, he and Yu Kai Anshan stood together, Long Chen didn't even glance at them, I've already said what I wanted to say, whether or not you want to be my enemies, choose for yourselves, he didn't care about the opportunists who swayed with the wind, but he had his own principles and his own conscience. Now that he had warned them once, he wouldn't feel so bad. Stupid people had to pay their own bills for their stupidity. The choice was up to them. A small portion of people did begin to sway due to Long Chen's words. However, being instigated by the majority, they began to say Long Chen was being sanctimonious, shameless, and despicable. To sum up, all kinds of curses and insults were thrown his way. Rather than getting angry, Long Chen smiled slightly. He nodded and then flew high into the air. Do you really think you can escape? Ji Chang Kong sneered. A huge ceiling barrier formed over the 10,000 mile Drake Mountain. Chapter 916 Killing Their Way Out of the Encirclement Translator. Born to be you idiot Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Ji has long since laid down a heaven encompassing net for you. Sneered the righteous experts. In truth, Ji Chang Kong had spent over a month setting this trap up. This formation was actually something he had luckily obtained within the immemorial path. In order to make sure he could capture Long Chen and the others, he had spent countless resources and materials to set it up. Even Zhu Yu didn't know about it, as Ji Chang Kong's plan was to kill him with everyone else. In his opinion, his combat power wouldn't be any lower than Zhu Yu's, but he didn't have absolute confidence in defeating him. So this formation wasn't just targeted against Long Chen. Ji Chang Kong's appetite truly was large for him to want to devour Long Chen and Zhu Yu with the same play. Ji Chang Kong was completely confident in this formation. Even if the two of them went all out, it still wouldn't break. If he didn't deactivate it, then no one could leave. Only a few people by Ji Chang Kong's side had even known about this formation. Seeing it now, the righteous experts felt that Ji Chang Kong had long since been prepared for everything and grew more confident in him. Long Chen. What face do you have to live in this world? If I were a despicable traitor like you, I'd have killed myself. To trap your own allies, you're the scum of the righteous path. You deserve to be hacked to pieces and burned to ash. For a while, the righteous experts wildly cursed Long Chen to display their loyalty. All kinds of vulgar words came in an unending flood. 
Guo Ran was fuming. His crossbow was already raised at them. His hatred toward the righteous experts had now even exceeded his hatred for the corrupt path. That was because amongst this crowd of righteous experts were many disciples from sects subordinate to the Zhuanshan Dao sect they had begged for the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples to look after them. Back then, they had been so respectful and deferential. Now, they were hostile and cursing at them. Guo Ran's body quivered with rage. Don't be so angry. Don't you see? There are over a few dozen familiar faces behind Xiao Wuji and Yu Kai Anshin? It means many of them are still able to differentiate right and wrong. Although they didn't come to stand by our side, they didn't join them either. Furthermore, don't we also have quite a few brothers supporting us? That's enough, said Long Chen. Long Chen hadn't expected Ji Chang Kong to have set up such a powerful formation. This formation seemed to be on the same level as the Zhuanshan Dao sect's protective formation. Although he hadn't tested its power yet, he knew Ji Chang Kong wasn't an idiot. Setting up such a huge formation came at an immense price, and he wouldn't set it up for nothing. Furthermore, looking up at the barrier above him, he felt a great deal of pressure from the runes circulating within it. Long Chen, what should we do? Go all out, asked Tang Wan'er. Long Chen shook his head. We don't have time to bother with them. We have to leave immediately. What? Why? The only ones here are the righteous and corrupt experts. But there's not one person from the ancient races. That's definitely off. I've had some relations with Yu Chang Heo, so he would definitely join in for the fun. I checked the map on my way here, and I think this trap is even greater than it looks on the surface. When I arrived, Ji Chang Kong definitely sent out news of my arrival. Perhaps he used photographic jades as proof that we're all in danger. The aboriginals will definitely charge out to save us, and at that time, Yu Chang Heo will lead the ancient race's experts to slaughter them. If that's the case, then they really split up the work perfectly. Ji Chang Kong's head really does have some skill, said Long Chen. Everyone's expressions changed, especially Xiao Fei and Shi Kang. Hearing that their tribesmen were in danger, they began to sweat. Although the aboriginals had the numbers advantage, they had now seen just how powerful Ji Chang Kong, Zhu Yu, and Ka Wu Tu were. Even without the curse, the aboriginals weren't their match. This batch of invaders was the strongest they had ever encountered. Ji Chang Kong was incredibly vicious. With this one move, he planned on eliminating all the aboriginals' experts. But Xiao Fei and the others weren't able to do anything other than panic. However, they saw that Long Chen's eyes were sweeping over the sky, as if he was calculating something. No one dared to interrupt him. Long Chen, don't you think it's time for you to come out and face your death? Ji Chang Kong was surrounded by glowing runes as he stood in the air. Long Chen nodded. Li Qi, Mingguan, in a bit. After telling them the plan, Long Chen flew into the air. A blood-colored saber rested on his shoulder. Ji Chang Kong. Zuyu, Katulu, come over and face your deaths. Long Chen's shout contained his unrevealed will, and at the same time, his aura erupted, causing heaven and earth to rumble. Courting death, Ji Chang Kong, Zuyu, and Ka Wu Tu were all infuriated. Long Chen was actually challenging all three of them at the same time. That was a naked insult. Ji Chang Kong formed hand seals, and a mile long spear appeared. That spear was formed from runes, and as soon as it appeared, it released an immense pressure. Zhu Yu's third eye opened. A ray of light shot onto his black sword, and a huge sword image soared into the air. Ka Wu Tu's eyes looked like they might spurt flames at any moment. Long Chen was intentionally saying his name wrong. Forming hand seals, Black Ki appeared and transformed into the face of a fiend. With a sinister laugh, it shot toward Long Chen. That fiend's laughter caused everyone's expressions to change. They hastily circulated their spiritual yuan to block it, but quite a few people were still too slow. Blood poured from their seven orifices. Long Chen gripped Blood Drinker with both hands. Countless runes lit up on it, wrapping around Long Chen. A huge saber image appeared. Boom. What startled everyone was that Long Chen didn't actually release his attack. He allowed all three of their attacks to land on him. A strange sound rang out. The blood colored runes around Long Chen weren't at all damaged, and neither was Long Chen. The blood colored runes scattered. Blood Drinker began to rumble. Light blossomed from it looking like a blooming blood lotus. Not good. Stop him, shouted Ji Chang Kong suddenly. Too late, Long Chen smiled. Using a strange technique, Blood Drinker had absorbed the power of their attacks. At the same time, his spiritual Yuan poured into it. Split the heavens too. Boom. A crescent moon saber image soared into the air, slashing into the huge barrier in the sky. The world shuddered violently, and countless people vomited blood. 
They were like ants stuck inside a bell that someone had viciously hit. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, looks like you're still dead. Even if you combined all of our power, you still, what? Ji Chang Kong was originally delighted to see that the barrier hadn't shattered, but very quickly, a strange noise caused his face to turn pale. The translucent barrier in the air was like a block of ice. Countless cracks appeared on it, rapidly spreading. No, boom. In front of Ji Chang Kong's disbelieving eyes, the entire barrier shattered. Ji Chang Kong almost crumbled along with the barrier. That was a barrier that contained both offensive and defensive aspects, and it was his greatest assurance in being able to kill Zhu Yu and Ka Wu Tu. But this formation that he had spent over a month setting up and spent countless resources on was destroyed in one blow without even showing its power. Ji Chang Kong's heart was crumbling. Earth Prison. Just at this moment, Li Qi and Song Mingyuan placed their hands on the ground. The earth surged around the aboriginals, completely wrapping them up. The Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix flew over and caught the earth prison with its claws. Its wings flapped, and just like that, it brought everyone soaring into the clouds. From the moment the barrier was broken, to Menki and the others jumping onto the Blood Phoenix, to the creation of the Earth Prison, everything had happened smoothly and easily. By the time anyone reacted, the Blood Phoenix was miles away. Everything was within Long Chen's expectations. When the Blood Phoenix flew by him, he reached out a hand and caught one of its wings, also getting onto its back. Stop them. Ji Chang Kong's eyes almost tore out of his head. With a furious roar, he gave chase. Zhu Yu and Ka Wu Tu followed, trying to stop Long Chen from fleeing, but they had underestimated the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's speed. Now that everyone was on it, the Blood Phoenix's feathers began to shine, and countless runes lit up. Ripples appeared in space, and the Blood Phoenix shot away. Bastard. Chase. Zhu Yu. Ji Chang Kong. And Ka Wu Tu were all infuriated. Even in this kind of situation, they had allowed Long Chen to escape. They chased as fast as they could. While their subordinates followed, there's no time to rest. Adjust your states and prepare for the real battle, shouted Long Chen. The Blood Phoenix crossed thousands of miles in a flash, and in just a bit, they arrived at a barren desert. Countless experts were currently fighting on it. There were hundreds of aboriginals fighting ancient race experts. Corpses were everywhere on the blood-stained ground. I'll kill these bastards. Xiao Fei, Shi Kang, and the other aboriginals were infuriated. Seeing their tribesmen fall one by one in pools of blood, they clenched their teeth so hard they were about to break. Yu Chang Heo, come out and die. Long Chen's blood began to boil. He shot straight toward the battlefield. Chapter 917 All Out Killing Translator Born to be the endless desert was covered in blood. Hundreds of thousands of aboriginals were crazily charging, but they were being held back by 30,000 ancient race experts. Faint halos of light could be seen on the aboriginals' bodies. That was a sign they were currently being weakened by the heavenly deos. Hundreds of foundation forging experts were leading the aboriginals, but they were still blocked by the ancient race experts, and with each passing moment, the aboriginals suffered losses. The ancient races were too strong. They had 14 rank 4 celestials and possessed ancient bloodlines. When they reached sea expansion, their combat power would soar. Even several foundation forging aboriginals would still be at a disadvantage against one of them. In fact, the situation was so precipitous that the aboriginals might get wiped out at any moment. There were four experts standing side by side in the air, indifferently watching the battlefield below. The four of them represented the ancient race's strongest powers. They were different from Zhu Yu and Ka Wu Tu. They all considered themselves to be on the same level as Yu Chang Heo and had formed their own independent powers. However, they didn't have any plans of truly fighting to the end with Yu Chang Heo. The four of them were publicly known as the four ancient race experts with the purest bloodlines. But as for who was truly number one, that was something that would have to wait until they had the fair public challenge back amongst the ancient races. It wasn't to be decided through slaughtering each other here. Even if they took the number one position through a fight in the outside world, they wouldn't receive the approval of the ancient races. In fact, they might bring down the ire of the higher-ups. So although the four of them refused to be ruled by the other three, they were still somewhat peaceful. From the way they looked at the battle below, it seemed the battle wasn't worthy of them participating in. The other rank four celestials below were enough to defeat during the aboriginals that were suffering from the curse. Even foundation forging experts could be handled as long as they were under the curse. The ancient races were extremely perceptive to bloodlines, including other people's bloodlines. So even other rank four celestials had to accept that these four were truly the strongest of them. Yu Chang Heo. 
come out and die. A furious roar suddenly shook the sky. One that caused heaven and earth to change color. One that sounded like the roaring of gods. One that contained boundless killing intent. Long Chen was already charging toward Yu Chang Heo's group of four. The battle below practically couldn't be called a battle. It should be called a slaughter. Seeing the corpses on the ground and the blood-soaked sand, Long Chen's eyes were scarlet. Long Chen? You didn't die to Zhu Yu and Ji Chang Kong? Haha. <laughs> Good. Yu Chang Heo laughed and charged at Long Chen, letting out a punch. He roared. Have a taste of my bloodline power. Yu Chang Heo's fist was covered in runes and swung like a warhammer. Brilliant light and astral winds erupted from it. Taste your fucking mother, roared Long Chen. He ignored Yu Chang Heo's punch, allowing it to smash on his chest, while his own fist landed on Yu Chang Heo's nose. This fighting style lacked any technique and could only be described as a scoundrel's fighting style, but it was extremely effective. Both fists connected. Long Chen felt a burst of pain in his chest, as even with his extremely powerful physical body, he couldn't ignore Yu Chang Heo's power. As for Yu Chang Heo, his face caved in, and it was basically impossible to see his original features. Both of them shot back. Kill. Kill them all. Shouted Long Chen to Guo Ran and the others. Even without Long Chen's shout, Guo Ran had already made his preparations. A 30 meter sphere appeared in his hands. From high above, he tossed it to the ground. Explode. The sphere exploded, releasing countless black needles. Screams rang out, as that sphere contained the quills Long Chen had gathered. They were poisonous, and once struck, a person's body would rapidly rot. If they didn't want to die, they would have to cut off the rotting portion as fast as possible. But while it was possible to cut off a leg, it was less easy to deal with being struck in the heart, the neck, and the head. Some of the ancient race experts instantly turned into withered skeletons. In reality, these quills didn't possess much offensive power on their own, but the poison in them was something that could be fatal even to rank 3 celestials. As for rank 2 celestials who didn't cut off their infected body parts fast enough, they would definitely die. Heavenly Deo energy didn't have much effect on this kind of corrosive poison. There simply wasn't enough time to heal. This explosion covered a hundred miles. Over 3,000 ancient race experts were killed in this one move. They panicked, and a portion of them gave up on the aboriginals. Instead, they were charging at Guo Ran. Nine underworld soul devouring wave. Menki took a deep breath in the air. A determined expression appeared on her face, and forming hand seals. A ripple rapidly spread from her. It's a spiritual attack. Activate your protective soul items, shouted one of the ancient race experts. As the ripple spread, even the ancient race experts that had activated protective soul items were unable to block it. They collapsed one by one. This attack contained Menki's full strength. She couldn't hold back at all at this time, because with each passing breath, there were aboriginals that fell. She didn't dare to be soft-hearted. Quick, kill her, roared an ancient race expert. He was a powerful rank 4 celestial, and he charged at her, but he was stopped by Gu Yang. The instant Men Qi had attacked, Tang Wan'er had already led the others to the side of the aboriginals. Wind blades filled the air as she went all out slaughtering the ancient race experts. With Tang Wan'er, Song Mingguan, Li Qi, and the others help, the pressure on the aboriginals lessened a great deal. Gu Yang and Yu Zifan were the only ones in charge of protecting Men Qi, but there were still ancient race experts charging past them, and Men Qi had no choice but to stop her soul art. Standing atop the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's head, she summoned the soul suppressing tower to fight against them. Men Qi's killing power was too great, even in just the blink of an eye. Thousands of ancient race experts had died without realizing it, so she was their number one priority. Guo Ran and Men Qi's attacks had killed 8,000 ancient race experts. That kind of efficiency was horrifying. Guo Ran was locked onto by a rank 4 celestial. However, Guo Ran had already summoned his golden armor and was fighting intensely against him. Men Qi was being entangled by two rank 4 celestials. They refused to permit Men Qi to once more release such a powerful move. The top experts of the ancient races quickly found their targets, but the lower levels were in a panic because three terrifying earth dragons were running amok in their midst. Those earth dragons were Men Qi, Guo Ran, and Tang Wan'er's houseboats. Of the four original eggs, one had been given to Yu Ziaokian, while the rest had been left to them. Men Qi's earth dragon had received special nourishment and already entered the eighth rank. As for Tang Wan'er and Guo Ran, in the end, they weren't beast tamers. Although they had done their best raising their houseboats, they were still only at the peak of the seventh rank. 
but those two smaller earth dragons released waves of fire under the guidance of Menki's earth dragon. The ancient race experts weren't able to block their fire breaths. There were experts that tried to attack the earth dragons, but even when rank 3 celestials went all out, they were at most able to break the height of the earth dragons. They were just minor wounds of no consequence, even for Long Chen. Killing the 8th rank earth dragon back then had required extremely potent poison, and he had still almost been killed. Now, these ancient race experts could also learn just how terrifying earth dragons were. Brave warriors of the aboriginals, retreat, distance yourself from the battle to avoid being hit by the shock waves, shouted Long Chen. Blood drinker appeared in his hand. Yu Chang Heo had just recovered, although his nose was fixed. He still felt some pain from it and he couldn't stop tears from leaking out. Attack together, said one of the powerful rank 4 celestials. He saw that something was off. Menki and the others were too powerful, and they had no time to waste. The person they had to get rid of the most was Long Chen. The power he had shown off just now caused them to be extremely uneasy. The three rank 4 celestials attacked at the same time, releasing powerful auras and seas of runes. Fuck off, roared Long Chen. He met their weapons with a single flash of his saber. The three of them felt bursts of pain in their arms as tyrannical energy knocked them back. They were horrified. Long Chen was shockingly powerful. They knew that this attack had been purely based on his physical strength. Suddenly, countless powerful auras appeared. Zhu Yu, Ka Wu Tu, and Ji Chang Kong had caught up. They had appeared just in time to see Long Chen send those three flying with a single blow. They were shocked to find that Long Chen was even stronger than they had expected. Everyone, kill Long Chen together. Anything else can be put aside until later, shouted Zhu Yu. He clearly wanted everyone to give up their own grievances and first kill their common enemy. Those subordinate to me, Zhu Yu, assist the ancient races to kill their enemies. Ka Wu Tu followed, ordering his people to help the ancient races. Only the righteous experts looked foolishly at Ji Chang Kong. Our righteous path only cares about righteousness. We must be firm against traitors. So everyone, move out to kill them, ordered Ji Chang Kong. The righteous experts hesitated, but in the end, they took out their weapons and charged. They had no way back this time. I'm finally full. Time to get back to work. Wild patted his stomach. Raising his bone club, he charged toward one of the ancient race's rank 4 celestials. Chapter 918 One Shot Instant Kill Translator Born to be wild charged forward with his bone club, directly smashing it at a rank 4 celestial. That ancient race expert only noticed Wild's existence now. He normally relied on Aura to sense others, but Wild's body didn't release any. He was startled but just snorted coldly. He let out a fierce punch at Wild's club. Blood splashed. A mix of bones cracking sound and his pained grunt rang through the air. His upper body had been shattered by this one blow. He had underestimated Wild's power drastically. Die. Wild roared. And in front of that ancient race expert's dumbfounded gaze, he suddenly grew to become a 30-meter giant. His bone club viciously smashed down at him. This technique was something Guo Ran had taught Wild. He had him pretend to be a pig to eat the tiger. Once his enemies were startled, caught off guard, and injured by him, he would then release his full power. As a result, this move was truly effective. In his carelessness, the expert had been heavily injured, and now before he could react, Wild's terrifying club smashed toward him again. With a bang, his body exploded into bloody mist. A powerful rank 4 celestial, one who stood practically at the peak of his realm, had been killed in one blow. All the surrounding experts were stunned. This was the first rank 4 celestial to be killed on the battlefield. This performance from Wild stunned everyone. Gather up, kill this idiot before killing the aboriginals. Following one person's shout, eight rank 4 celestials charged toward Wild. Six of them were from the ancient races, while two were from the corrupt path. One of the ancient race experts had only just charged up when he was struck by Wild's club. He shot back, vomiting blood. Fortunately, his weapon and body were strong enough, or this attack would have killed him. Once Wild had summoned the barbarian blood bronze body, his power was terrifying. Don't hold back. This giant's tough, shouted one of the corrupt experts. A warhammer appeared in his hand, and he didn't hesitate to sacrifice a huge amount of his spiritual yuan to activate his treasure item's might. The others also didn't dare to be careless. Even eight against one, they didn't seem to have good odds. The aboriginals were rapidly retreating with Tang Wan'er and the others' protection. They were rapidly distancing themselves from the battlefield. That freed up more enemies' experts, and quite a few charged over at Wild. 
But Wild was too terrifying. Rank 3 Celestials were fundamentally incapable of approaching him. In the end, only one more Rank 4 Celestial managed to join the battle. The nine of them surrounded Wild, and only then were they able to maintain an even situation. Wild's appearance immediately reversed the board. He had drawn over nine Rank 4 Celestials to handle him and even killed one. Everyone else. Retreat. Li Qi. Song Mingyuan. You're in charge of protecting them. I have to help Sister Men Qi. Tang Wan Er shot off to the core of the battlefield. The battlefield had been stretched. The aboriginals were much further away, with only a small portion of ancient race experts attacking them. The majority of them had switched to defense to block Men Qi, Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, and the others. The three people attacking Men Qi were exceptionally strong, and she relied on the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's speed to constantly dodge. As a soul cultivator, she wasn't skilled in close range combat. Furthermore, having three rank four celestials at the same time, she had to be careful. Her situation was a bit dangerous. Her enemies were too strong. Other than the four peak experts, the ancient races also possessed 13 other rank 4 celestials. As for rank 3 celestials, they numbered in the hundreds. Seven rank 4 celestials from the corrupt path now joined in, as well as Shen Mingkong from the righteous path. Other than the one that Wild had killed, there were still 21 rank 4 celestials. Gu Yang and Yu Zifen were now also in danger. They were both facing three rank 4 celestials. This was beyond their limit. The only one safe was Guo Ran. With his golden armor, and two golden sabers in his hands, he was fighting three rank four celestials. Occasionally, holes would open in parts of his armor and needles would fly out. The three people fighting him were like three hungry wolves that had surrounded a porcupine. Despite this porcupine not being strong, they couldn't eat it. Sometimes the needles Guo Ran shot out had poison, infuriating them. This armor was too infuriating. When their attack struck it, a portion of their power would be absorbed, while another portion would be dissipated. Guo Ran was at most enduring 30% of their power. Furthermore, he then used their power to attack them, making them so furious that they cursed him. They had never encountered such a shameless armor, nor had they ever encountered such a shameless person. Now, there were no more rank 4 celestials attacking the aboriginals. Their safety was practically guaranteed especially with how many foundation forging experts they had. Now that Tang wan -er joined in, the slanting scales once more evened. They were no longer all fighting one against three, but gathered together with Men Qi at the core. In this situation, they no longer needed to kill these people. Their main goal was to protect themselves. The main characters of this battle were not them. That belonged to another battlefield. Long Chen stood in the air, his eyes glowing with a frightening light. His blood-colored saber was pointed toward the people in front of him. Ji Chang Kong, Zhu Yu, Ka Wu Tu, Yu Chang Heo, and the other three peak experts, were all glaring at him. All their auras had risen to their peaks. Countless runes were surging in the air, and faint ripples appeared in space. Long Chen and the seven of them roared at the same time and attacked. Long Chen slashed his saber down, and a biting cold saw bear key locked onto the seven of them. Boom. Long Chen was blown back. When the seven of them worked together, he couldn't overpower them. HMPH, you're only at this level. One of the ancient race experts sneered. His body swayed strangely, and using some unknown movement art, he moved toward Long Chen like a fish in water. He arrived in front of him in an instant, reaching for his throat. His fingers were like steel. They were covered in scales, with each scale possessing circulating runes. There was actually blood flowing within those runes. His attack caused heaven and earth to tremble. Careful, but Zhu Yu, Ji Chang Kong, and Ka Wu Tu's expression suddenly changed. They thought of an extremely bad possibility. Split the heavens too. The ancient race expert saw a sneer appear on Long Chen's face. Then hearing Zhu Yu and the others cries, a bad feeling rose in his head. But it was too late to do anything. Seeing Long Chen's saber slashing down, he felt a sensation of death well up within him. He instinctively reached toward Long Chen's hand to block it. And he also moved one of his feet forward. Entering Long Chen's shadow, his tactic was extremely clever. In his opinion, once he blocked Long Chen's attack, Long Chen would definitely be struck in his vitals by his kick, and then with a tempest of attacks, he would be killed. His plan was good, but perhaps he was a bit too conceited in his defense. In any case, the result was that when Bloodrinker reached his arms, an earth-shattering power erupted, shattering his arms. This attack was created through Bloodrinker's absorption ability. It had absorbed a portion of their attacks. Although it said a portion, it was actually seven portions, 
and adding on Long Chen's own power. Its might was shocking. This was a monstrous ability that Bloodrinker had told him about after completely awakening. The most monstrous part about this was that the power wasn't stored like a magical art. Once the energy was absorbed, it was stored within Bloodrinker's body. Others wouldn't notice it. What exploded wasn't just the ancient race expert's arms. After his arms exploded, his head exploded, and then the rest of his body. All the aboriginals saw it clearly. Previously, they had jumped upon seeing Long Chen being forced back by the seven of them. But in the blink of an eye, Long Chen had killed one of those seven peak experts. It happened so suddenly that it seemed surreal. Boss is amazing. Keep going. There are only six left. Six more attacks and you'll be done. Shouted Guo Ran. Because of the distraction, he had been struck in the back. Although his armor blocked most of the power, his blood flipped within him. He didn't dare to be careless and continued fighting. Wild had shocked everyone by killing a rank 4 celestial in one exchange. Now Long Chen, one against seven, had killed one of the peak experts here. Long Chen, don't get too pleased. I'll show the feather race's true power. Yu Chang Heo was the first to react. His wings shook and his blood key surged. Boundless pressure erupted, and a huge illusory figure appeared behind him. It appeared to be a giant bird. Because it was so huge and illusory, it was impossible to see what bird it was. But as soon as it appeared, his aura erupted like a volcano. It was as vast as an ocean. Yu Chang Heo charged forward, a golden bow in his hand. What was startling was that as soon as he drew the bow, countless light arrows condensed and shot toward Long Chen. Someone I already defeated also dares to talk. Unafraid, Long Chen released a heaven shrouding saber image that slashed down on those arrows. The arrows were piercing through space but in front of Bloodrinker, they were easily shattered. With his vast spiritual Yuan, Long Chen could now afford to squander extra energy on Bloodrinker. Corrupt pupil heavenly prison, Zhu Yu's third eye opened and a ray of light shot out, enveloping Long Chen. The world suddenly froze. Chapter 919 Sneak Attack Noveloon.com Translator Born to be the light from Zhu Yu's third eye enveloped Long Chen. Space froze around him, and the others didn't even hesitate to attack. Zhu Yu's third eye was an innate corrupt eye. It possessed mystical powers, and one of those was spatial locking power. Although its effect only lasted for a moment, it was easy to kill experts within that moment. There was no time to think. They all launched attacks at their greatest speed. Even if they weren't their ultimate attacks, they could still kill Long Chen instantly with all of them combined. Divine Ring. Boom. A 3000 meter divine ring appeared, its four colors revolving. The locking power around Long Chen blew apart. At the same time, a terrifying key wave sent all the people charging at him flying. A drop of blood leaked from Zhu Yu's third eye. Long Chen's divine ring had actually injured his corrupt pupil. Long Chen's body suddenly moved. Like a bolt of lightning, he appeared in front of one of the ancient race peak experts. He was the one closest to him. That person immediately felt a chill. It was like a wild lion had set its gaze upon him. Even the companions around him didn't provide him the slightest feeling of safety. Clenching his teeth, his blood key suddenly erupted. The runes around him became blood-colored, and a strange diagram appeared behind him. His aura erupted like a volcano. Boom. Long Chen's saber slashed down on his weapon. Although they were in the air, the shock waves spread in every direction, shattering the ground. Quite a few people were instantly killed by the shock waves. The ancient race expert was smashed into the ground, leaving a deep hole. But Long Chen was startled to see that this person merely coughed up a mouthful of blood. He was surprised to see this person could receive an attack from him now that he had summoned his divine ring. But the others were even more shocked. This peak expert had activated the might of his spirit blood to obtain power beyond his limits but still had been injured. Zhu Yu and the others finally became fully aware that Long Chen's power far surpassed their expectations. In the beginning. Everyone had been trying to preserve their strength and trump cards for the upcoming battle after they killed Long Chen. At that moment, it would be time to split the spoils. But now seeing that this peak expert had turned into his current state even after the support of his spirit blood, they recognized the cruel reality. Trying to be clever would make them pay a terrible price. Whoever keeps holding back will be attacked by everyone else after the battle is over, said Zhu Yu. He activated his spirit blood which was his ancestor's bloodline blessing. It was an extremely miraculous and precious energy. The whole reason why they were able to become peak existences amongst rank 4 celestials was because of their density of spirit blood. It far surpassed the other rank 4 celestials, allowing Zhu Yu and the other to suppress them. Now that they had all activated their spirit blood's power, 
the runes around them turned blood-colored. An invisible energy was gathering toward them, causing a loud rumbling. Zhu Yu's sword was the first to slash toward Long Chen. An indescribable energy was contained within this sword that made it terrifying to the peak. Boom. When Long Chen blocked with his saber, he was knocked back several steps. As expected, the support of spirit blood was extremely powerful. Even with his divine ring, he was knocked back. On the other hand, even with his spirit blood, Zhu Yu felt Long Chen's power to be the truly terrifying thing. He was blown back dozens of meters before stabilizing. Ji Chang Kong, Yu Chang Heo, Ka Wu Tu, and the other peak experts all released their full power with Zhu Yu taking the lead. With six peak experts going all out, their combat power was heaven shaking. Up in the air, Long Chen fought against six peak experts. The void was constantly shaking due to their power. The battlefield was now split into three sections. Long Chen's battle was at the center. Then there was Men Qi and the others fighting the rank four celestials. And the third battle was even further away but involved many more people. The corrupt path, righteous path, and ancient race experts were fighting against the aboriginals, three earth dragons, and one Riday sacred blood phoenix. The four magical beasts were extremely powerful and quite a few experts had to be used to keep them back. That allowed the aboriginals to take advantage. Added together, the righteous path, corrupt path, and the ancient races had originally possessed over 70,000 experts. But because of Menki and Guo Ran's ultimate attacks, as well as the powerful attacks of the magical beasts, they were down to less than 60,000. In truth, a portion of that loss wasn't just due to deaths. Some had fled. Of course, those people were from the righteous path. One reason was because they were just too weak. Rank 1 Celestials were no different than cannon fodder in a battle on this level. A shockwave from any random blow might kill them. Previously, they had thought that by cheering for Ji Chang Kong, they could form friendly ties with him, and through that, elevate their status. But now, the situation was rapidly changing and getting out of control. Even while facing the corrupt path, righteous path, and ancient races peak experts, Long Chen was still able to fight. That combat power terrified them. They even regretted that they had overestimated Ji Chang Kong. Their decision to invest in a relationship with him had been too brash. Now, their best decision was to retreat with their lives while they could. The Righteous Path had originally numbered over 30,000. After a portion had died, a greater portion had stealthily slipped away. Now, the ones remaining were less than 10,000. And these people remaining were just cheering loudly without putting in any work. They managed to make themselves sound loud and brave, but to maintain a safe distance, they only launched long-distance attacks. Those kinds of attacks were nothing more than itches, because they were afraid of making their enemies angry and being attacked. In any case, the corrupt path and ancient race experts were the true fighters that fought to the death. The righteous path's experts all excelled in cheering while doing nothing, giving a new meaning to the word useless. Now the aboriginals possessed greater numbers and greater individual power. While the situation wasn't set in stone yet, their advantage was growing greater and greater. Tang Wan'er and the others were surrounding Men Qi, guarding her while she used the soul-suppressing tower to help defend everyone else. At the same time, she occasionally activated her treasure items to launch attacks. Men Qi was the one who possessed the most treasure items currently. She had bracelets, rings, and earrings. In fact, even her shoes were treasure items. The majority of them were energy storage treasure items. Activating them to launch an attack didn't require any of her own spiritual yuan. The most terrifying aspect of these energy storage treasure items was their ability to launch instantaneous attacks. Of everyone present, Men Qi was the only one not skilled in close-range combat. In order to make sure that Men Qi could protect herself, Long Chen had spent the most on her, giving her over 10 energy storage treasure items. One reason was because Men Qi needed them the most. But the other reason was only someone with vast soul energy like her could precisely control so many treasure items. Men Qi, Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, and Yu Zifeng were working together as a unit. The rank 4 celestials were all blocked by them, and they were all exhausting a great deal of their soul energy to maintain their soul items. That was to prevent Men Qi from killing them in one shot with a spiritual attack. That was the terror of soul cultivators. Without a soul item protecting a person, then there was the constant danger of being killed in one attack. Not every expert possessed such powerful spiritual strength. Due to this, they were unable to truly release all their power. So both sides were at a stalemate. A bit further from them was Guo Ran. With sabers in both hands, he was fighting three rank four celestials. 
which caused metallic ringing to continuously come from there. Those fighting Guo Ran had an urge to vomit blood as Guo Ran's armor was completely immoral. After fighting for so long, they finally saw cracks appear on Guo Ran's armor that had made them ecstatic. But after so much work, when the armor finally broke, they almost went insane. What they had broken was just the outer skin of the armor. Once that outer layer was broken, it revealed a completely fine set of armor. Are you guys going to be alright? My armor has a total of 18 layers, and at this rate, you won't be able to see my amazing body until next year, said Guo Ran. PFFT, you fucker, you're too shameless. One of them directly coughed up a mouthful of blood from Guo Ran's words. He was incredibly close to passing out. However, they also didn't dare to ignore Guo Ran and could only continue like this. Otherwise, he would charge into their army. His killing power was too great. So even if they couldn't kill him, they had to hold him back. Both parties were stalling on Guo Ran's side. But on Wild's side, danger sprang up all over. There were nine experts attacking him. And one of those had almost lost his life to Wild right at the very beginning in his carelessness. Wild's attacks were too terrifying for them. There were no hints prior to the attacks, and they came in a bold and unconstrained style. All nine of them were unable to predict his next actions. In truth, Wild was just randomly smashing his hammer. Previously, Long Chen had refused to accept that Wild couldn't learn any techniques, and he had spent a full month teaching Wild a move, but the result was that Wild forgot it in just two days. Nowadays, Long Chen wouldn't try teaching Wild anything even if he was beaten to death. The fiercest battle was at Long Chen's side. The desert around them was constantly sinking. The fierce clashing auras were incredibly intense. The entire battlefield had entered a strange equilibrium. Men Qi suddenly felt a twist in space. A slender, translucent sword suddenly appeared next to her, piercing toward the space between her ribs. Chapter 920 Full Firepower Translator Born to be a translucent sword appeared out of nowhere, looking as if it had come right out of space. It advanced at a dead angle toward Men Qi. Sister Men Qi, cried Tang Wanur. As a wind attribute expert, she was extremely sensitive to spatial fluctuations. Water was variable, but wind was always in motion. Any obstructions either had to be blown away by the wind or caused the wind to change direction. So Tang Wanur was the first to notice. But suddenly, she found that something was off. The sword had pierced through Men Qi's body, but there was no blood, nor was there any reaction from Men Qi. Her body faded. An afterimage. A man slowly appeared in the air. Surprised. Explode. Men Qi appeared hundreds of meters away. Forming hand seals. An invisible sphere exploded above her. Splattering yellow powder everywhere. That man was instantly blanketed by the yellow powder. However, it seemed that the powder was just ordinary powder. It didn't contain any offensive power. This sneak attacker was naturally the Blood Kill Hall's top assassin. Wang Junmo. He had been hidden on the battlefield the entire time. In fact, he had been there ever since Long Chen had arrived at Drake Mountain, only holding back the entire time because he had never found a good time to kill Long Chen. When Long Chen had arrived at Drake Mountain, he had felt that something was off. However, he hadn't been able to pinpoint the exact reason. It was as though he was being stared at by an expert, but he had been unable to sense the expert's position that had made him keep his guard up. The only one who could hide his existence from him was a peak assassin like Wang Junmo. Therefore, Long Chen had given Men Qi some instructions on their way here. She had kept a protective treasure item active the entire time. It was an extremely special treasure item. When she was about to be struck by a close-range attack, it would instantly teleport her away. This kind of treasure item was of little use normally, but it was priceless to Men Qi. She didn't fight in close range. So such a treasure item was practically made for her. Although using it once would exhaust all its energy. Just this one time was enough. As soon as Men Qi had activated the treasure item. She had also detonated the sphere Long Chen had given her. The golden powder gave off a strong stench and light. There was no way for Wang Junmo to erase them in the short term. They had basically broken Wang Junmo's self-concealment abilities. Wang Junmo's expression changed. He instantly realized what was going on. Long Chen's prediction had been accurate. Wang Junmo would be lying in wait for an opportunity to kill him or assassinate one of the most important people to him to make him go crazy. According to his experience with assassins, if they weren't guaranteed to kill him in one blow, they wouldn't take action. Even if he were to try baiting Wang Junmo into attacking him, with Wang Junmo's immense assassination experience, it wasn't likely he would fall for it. Instead, it would expose that he had sensed him. 
So Long Chen's guess was that Wang Junmo would kill one of his women to infuriate him. He wouldn't choose one of the men, as the easiest way to enrage a man was to target their women. Long Chen had absolute confidence that Wang Junmo would choose either Tang Wanner or Meng Qi. As a wind attribute expert, Tang Wanner was immersed in the endless wind element around her, making her extremely sensitive to spatial fluctuations. Thus, it would be difficult for Wang Junmo to approach her. As for Meng Qi, she was a soul cultivator. Although her spiritual strength was great, and she was also sensitive to auras, it would be easier for him to approach her while she was focusing on her enemies. So Long Chen had been almost sure he would choose to attack Men Qi. Wang Junmo, you finally appeared. I've been waiting for a long time. Four star battle armor. Stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes, and an explosive sound came from his body. His aura erupted like an awakening dragon. Boom. Zhu Yu and the others were instantly sent flying by a terrifying key wave. They couldn't help being horrified. Long Chen had actually been holding back. After summoning the four star battle armor, he appeared like a battle god. With a single step, he closed the distance between himself and Wang Junmo, slashing his sword down. Wang Junmo's expression changed. He hadn't expected his perfect assassination attempt to be ruined and to be thrown into Long Chen's trap. There was no way for him to conceal himself any longer. Blood Fiend Grand Formation. Heaven and Earth Merge. Shouted Wang Junmo. He immediately activated his spirit blood and used a secret technique to push his power to its peak. Boom. Visible ripples appeared in the void. Although Gu Yang and the others had been informed by Men Qi and retreated, they were still struck by those ripples. Those ripples struck them, as well as the rank 4 celestials fighting them. They felt as if a mountain-like hammer had smashed into their bodies, and they all vomited blood. Only Men Qi and Tang Wanner were slightly better off. Men Qi had already retreated far away, while Tang Wanner was extremely fast. But they were both sent flying even further. More explosive sounds rang out as the ripples spread to the ground. Wang Junmo crashed into the desert, vomiting blood. The people fighting where he landed were devoured by a wave of sand. He had landed right in the center of the battlefield. Fortunately, Guo Ran had been smarter. After seeing Long Chen's attack, he had immediately let out a fierce spurt of wind and soared straight to the clouds. The three experts fighting him were stunned as they lost track of him. Before they could even tell what was happening, a huge wave of earth devoured them. The previous ripple that had struck them had been the shock wave from their attack. But this earth wave contained the true power of Long Chen's attack. Even Wang Junmo hadn't been able to bear it and had been blown into the ground. This wave of earth was the result of him shedding as much of the excess power as he could. As a result, the three of them were very unlucky. In fact, the experts fighting against Wild were also unlucky. They were like ants in front of that wave. The energy within that wave of earth smashed their bodies to pieces and hundreds of other figures were blown to bits. Those figures had been hidden before this, but when that earth wave erupted, they couldn't continue hiding. They had tried to flee, but they had been too slow. These people were the Blood Kill Hall's elite assassins. They had caused countless experts to tremble in fear, but now they had been turned to dregs. The strongest aspect of assassins was their assassination arts. Their combat power lay in sneak attacks and fleeing. Defense was something they looked down upon or there wouldn't be the assassin's creed of fleeing if the first attack failed. Even if they had the power to kill across realms, their defensive ability was basically zero. This one attack had killed all the elites of the Blood Kill Hall. If that news was transmitted, the entire world would probably be shaken. The Blood Kill Hall's way of raising disciples was extremely stringent. This attack had basically killed this generation of the Blood Kill Hall's talented disciples. Boss really is vicious. He's getting more and more monstrous. Guo Ran had flown into the air with a single fart. Looking at the apocalyptic scene below and those experts miserably vomiting blood, he felt goosebumps. He tried to wipe the sweat off his forehead but forgot he was wearing a helmet. Personally watching the earth wave rapidly spreading, Guo Ran gulped. Li Qi. Quick. Great earthen protection. Song Mingyuan saw that this earth wave would still affect them despite how far they were. If they were struck, there were quite a few people that most likely wouldn't be able to bear it. Boom. A huge dome covered everyone, protecting them from the earth wave. The experts outside were dumbfounded. They had no time to think too much. They fled so quickly it seemed like they wished they could use their third leg as well. But they were still devoured by the earth wave. The wave spread tens of thousands of miles. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan's defense was covering a huge area, and they still managed to bear it. When the wave passed, people popped out of the ground like moles, filled with horror. They were currently in a huge crater. It was like a meteor had struck this place. 
Is this really the power of a human? Muttered one of the foundation forging tribe leaders. The threat has passed. Everyone, go all out. There's no need for mercy now. What we need is the blood of our enemies. We'll use their foolish lives to comfort our departed brothers. Shouted Long Chen. Previously, Long Chen had always been worried about Wang Junmo and his assassins. They were the ones that posed the greatest threat to his people and the aboriginals. Now that threat was over, it was time to let loose and start a slaughter. Kill. The aboriginals thought of their fallen tribesmen and charged toward the enemies closest to them. Pain made people angry. Pain made people crazy. But pain could also make a person brave and tenacious. Wang Junmo's not dead. Everyone, work together to kill Long Chen. Shouted Yu Changheo. He still sensed Wang Junmo's aura and had to gather everyone's power to kill Long Chen. Long Chen was in the midst of preparing his second attack. So they all charged forward to interrupt him. Let's settle things today. Long Chen tightly gripped Bloodrinker. Battle intent soaring out of him. It was time to resolve all their grudges. 